and then bite some baby. And then I have a, and I, and I had, doesn't have my baby. And the baby all fell. And they're crying. Yeah. And, and the baby will kiss her. Cause I'm a kissy parrot. And I was playing with my baby. And I was, and I was playing and it was so high. And but we and it's so high too. And they catch it too. And so high. And then I kept buying it. And then, and, I, and I have a balloon, because I have a my balloon is so fun, because I like to play, and it's raining. And it's raining, because it's, it's cloudy today. And, and my... And and this is at a school, so I have a doctor appointment tomorrow. And and it's so funny. And Cass is that he beeping in his car. And and the beat like a beep. I have a fun and test I have a found in my ponies cause I could play and and I have a bounce. Hey, uh, did you take over our show? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is supposed to be our live stream. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I think you hijacked our show, right? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, guys. How are you tonight? We had a special Hi. guest announcer. Welcome. <laughs> I don't have anything opened up. I forgot to open. Oh, you got it on your phone? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can you tell everybody who are you? I'm Audrey. Yeah. And what? Who do we have on tonight? Do you remember? Um, Who's our guest? Mommy, Daddy, and Chris. I'm mean Audrey. And Audrey, yes. That's right. <laughs> and who? Uh, remember? The balloon man is coming. Yeah. Yeah. The balloon man is coming. <laughs> we hope that maybe he can make some balloons. Yeah. 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 It's gonna be cool, huh? Right? Yeah. No. Well, hi, everybody. Yes, it's hi. so nice to see you all. Uh, as you see, I'm we sorry. have a new host, host for tonight <laughs> uh, for a little bit. And yes, we could let her take it over. Yeah. <laughs> um, so hello, everybody who is in. Just a little shout out. Uh, Matt Cook was in here uh, just 20 minutes before the live stream. That's dedication. Oh Thank you. Uh, very appreciated. Uh, Bottle Caps. Hi, Three Star Travelers. Um, Rosarian Buck, Audrey, everybody <laughs> just like <loves> you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Papa Gut TV, um, uh, Gons Fam is in, Father and Son, Nathan likes drums. Uh, thank you so much, guys, yeah. for coming in. That's uh, so amazing. Yeah, today we usually have a Tuesday Tech Talk. Yeah. Uh, uh, but um, today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be in two parts. Um, we're going to have our amazing guest, Josh from Paris Balloon Man. Yeah. 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 So exciting. Yeah. yeah. And then on our second hour, we're going to get to our Tech Talk and uh, get your questions answered all together. Uh, so, Audrey, what are you most excited about? Uh, well, I have a plate. I have a circus. You have a circus? Yeah. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, in the school. <gasps> wow. Oh. Do I come? <laughs> yeah. Maybe everyone wants to come and see you circus. Yeah, and I will be a crown. You're going to be wearing a crown. Do you think there are going to be lots of balloons in your circus? Um, no. I mean, yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. And maybe somebody's going to make uh, little animals out of balloons? Yeah. Yay! Can you say say hi to Rob uh, Rob Hoffman? Say hi, uh, Rob. Hi, Hoffman. Rob. Hoffman. Hoffman. There you go. Say thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say hi to TriStar? Hi, TriStar. And Puppet Gut. <laughs> and Reese's. Hi, Reese's. And oh, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one. Can you say hi to? We'll say hi, couponer. Hi, couponer. And say hi, bottle caps. Hi, bottle caps. She already has a guitar, by the way, bottle caps. <laughs> and coming soon enough. <laughs> Who do we miss here? Uh, yeah, and us by our Yes, yes, try so. We will. Thanks. <laughs> We're in negotiations uh, right now. Can you hi say hi to Nathan? Hi, Nathan. That's my friend at school. Oh, yeah. Yes, my friend at school. Yeah, that's right. And hi, father and sons. Hi, father and sons. And hi, Gons. Uh, Hi, Gons fam. Hi, Gons fam. Hi, Resorian. Hi, Resorian. I figured that one was going to be tricky. Yeah. Yeah, that one was tricky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming in. Um, if you missed yesterday, we had amazing uh, uh, stream. Uh, yeah. It was a manic Monday. We had amazing guests playing uh, drums and uh, Cajun drum? Is that what yeah, it's called? Yeah, uh, a yeah, Cajun box, a yep. brick from the Corn Life Network. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we had Nathan Likes Drums playing drums. And yep. we had Rosorian Buck playing his guitar. And Brother Dan joined us at the end as well and played a little bit of his How acoustic. fun was that? Yeah. Uh, that? It was. I was, like I say, I was uh, first to admit that I was kind of a bit of a naysayer <laughs> onto it. I didn't know what this was going to be, but uh, what it was going to be, but you really. Uh, it really in the end pulled off, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We enjoyed it so much. It just was chilling out and talking all music. And if you missed it, just uh, after this stream, go back to our live stream playlist, and you can watch it right there. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Josh. We're eager to see you, too. We'll be sending the link in a few. He's on his wife's. Uh, oh, thread. yeah, oh, it took me a second. You're, you're you know? hiding uh, uh, under, okay. Yeah. Okay, so our guest is in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get them on in this ending Yes, cycle. the girls are getting yep. eager. The, oh, our guests are going to yep. have some girls on, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, I think we better get yeah. them on because they are excited and our little one is I'll excited, too. It's in the uh, messenger, right? Hi, uh, yep. Uh, hello, Gregory. Can you say hi to Gregory? Hi, Gregory. Gregory. Go there. It's hard to tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I. Was, oh, oh yeah, it's in. I. Oh yeah. Okay. So as we Thank are you. getting in, uh, <laughs> it's hard to do with. Guests, I'm used to doing with my uh, left hand. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get them in because the girls will have to go to get. To sleep the same as this little one too. So we can't waste a minute. Of, uh, getting out together. Uh, yeah, you want to see the balloons first, right? Hi, little one. Gregory says, Hi, little one. Hi, little one. Now you're getting so used to repeating one. everything we're telling you. So they get a little, are you a little one? Stage, yeah. little stage no. fright. No. Okay. Do you like to be on camera? Yes. Yes. Who are you going to be when you grow up? I'm going to be police. You're going to be police. Oh. And you pick me up and then be drive police. 
I'm gonna be picking you up when you drive in a police car. Yeah, oh, that I'm gonna be cool. help you. I need to cry. Oh <gasps> no way! You are gonna help me when I cry. You're yeah. oh, you're gonna save me. That's so Ooh. nice. That's oh. so nice. <laughs> you're sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks so much, TriStar. Yeah. Santa Claus is watching. <laughs> Bottle... Santa coming to town. Uh, yeah, thank... yeah, we could we yeah. could have that happen since we still have winter here. Yeah. Uh, so... At least we don't have the snow, thank God. Well, it was some flurries, yeah, today, yeah. but it's... Uh... I'm sure we'll be here soon. It's hopeless. Yeah, <laughs> the way the weather's been. <laughs> oh, yay! 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 Girls, girls. Look, there's another girl up there. Look, look, now they see you. Now they see you. Hi. 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 I'm gonna see if we can get you these look up. Just like me. Yes. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Now I can see us better. <laughs> Are we still talking to them? Yeah, yeah. Well, we are, but there's a there's a loop with the sound. Are we? There we go. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Well, maybe you can introduce yourself, your family, and yourself. Can I say hi? Yeah, go say hi. 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 Hi, what's your name? My name's Lala. Her name's Lalani. Oh, wow. What? That's a pretty name. Do I come to my school? <laughs> uh, no, we no, we homeschool. Oh, you we homeschool. homeschool. We homeschool. Yeah. yeah, they learn at home. Yeah, I think there's a delay in the sound. There's a huge lag in the sound, eh? Uh, you sh uh, Do you have your other stuff muted? Like you should be running only your Hangouts, not the actual YouTube video. Yeah, you have to pause that one. Like, pause the video, and uh, and yeah, it should be okay for you then. Yeah. Okay, so the YouTube channel had to be muted. Yes, yeah. that's right. Okay, got it. That should make it a lot easier for you. Yeah. Now all the noise is gone. Okay. Yeah, now I can hear you. Can I talk to your daughter? Yes. Now you can talk. Uh, I'm not really going. I never go to school. I just homeschool. But you do go to school. You school here. That is exactly it. That's very cool, though. Do you like yeah. that? Yes, do you like being homeschooled? Mm -mm. Yes, she does. <laughs> she does. Yeah. Yeah. Like Daddy can't edit this out. Here, right? oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, okay, hang on. Look at me. <laughs> Where's up, up, mommy? Up, up, up. Can you find it? Okay, I'll do you. No, no, on me. Hi. Hi. And what's, what's your, your name? name? Angelica. Oh my god. Say it clearly. Oh, it's a very pretty Angelica. name. They look so big and stuffy. Yeah. Oh. oh I can see it. <laughs> yeah. They look way too skinny. Oops. Well, please keep them on. Them. Yeah, you should use them for all the time. <laughs> so would you like to introduce the whole family? Um, so I'm Josh. The um on the on your live stream it says terrace the balloon man but terrace is the city we live in so it's actually the terrace balloon man yes and i realized that i apologize about 6 30 tonight i finally realized that i put that well no it's not just you a lot of people on the comments on my channel call me terrace you're yeah, right i think that's my name they, or they call it terrence they change it but um yeah so i'm josh i'm melinda everybody calls me mal I'm the mom and, and she just found out about this she didn't know we were doing this so yeah, just so Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Then this is Leilani. To us, she's six, 
And this is Angelica, who's 10. Well, it's such a pleasure to meet you both, all of you, I should say. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and talk. They like showing off for cameras. Oh, that's quite a dandy. Yeah. Okay. She's copying something she saw in a video. <laughs> well, I think her and Audrey are a good pair already. I see a little. Yeah. Well, how old is she? Uh, Audrey seven. Yeah. 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 Audrey's seven and Chris is 11. Uh, so we have the same age difference for kids almost. Yeah. Yeah. And, and these, ones, these guys just lost their teeth too. Oh. oh. And I actually two. lost almost four in the last month. I'm a seven oh, years old. Oh, three people. I got a little And I had a little yeah, kid. And I had a baby cat right here. Oh, Give wow. Me two. And I'm a six year old. You want to know that? You're a big one. Yep. Mommy. Do you have two adult teeth? Uh, uh, sorry? Does she have two adult teeth in the front? That's, are they adult? Yep. Yeah. Those are adult, yeah. Yeah. She started okay, very okay. early. <laughs> okay, because I do too. Oh, cool. Wow. That is so cool. I'm so <laughs> glad to have you girls on. I need to talk to you. I have an adult tooth right here. I don't know how long. You interrupt me. I don't know yeah. how you do I don't know. Okay. I don't know how to tell. Okay. I don't know. But how long I've had to. Can I talk to you now? Yes, you can talk. I have an adult tooth right here. Oh, wow. An adult tooth. Look, Audrey, look, she's showing you. She's showing her teeth. Right here, see? One adult tooth. Oh, oh yeah. that's so cool, right? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yes. That's so cool. I lost these two teeth somewhere that the beat sounds at the, you know, the thing where all the animals get so It's called the pet store. I went to it before. Uh -huh. She lost her tooth to the pet store. And look right here, see? Look, see, I lost the teeth here. Oh, yeah. I pulled that one out like, like that really quick. And like, oh. oh, my. Uh, brave. Yeah. <laughs> pulled her sister's tooth out in the bathroom. Oh, she's brave with her sister. Oh, yeah. no. That's, that's the wrong one, Daddy. It's the other one. It's the top one up here. Yeah. yeah. No, it was this one. No, it's that okay, one. anyway, you've all lost a lot of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, that's a big topic. You want to go get the... Oh, and my daddy's name is Josh Cutie Girl. That's his name when he was a baby. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, folks, you heard it here tonight. We're getting the scoop already, so. Yeah. You can call them Lady Boom. No, you don't call, you don't call me Lady Boom. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can call him Lady Bruni. So, it's nice to finally have you on. Thank you. We've been looking forward to it. I mean, your channel, that was always something great about right from the get-go at the I mean, all of us do original stuff on here, but there's something that always kind of stand out, and you definitely had one of those channels right from the get-go. Yeah, and I'm wanting to make them better. I need to improve a few things. Um, I think you're already well in your way. Well, we need to. I'm going to get a better camera, and uh, we need faster internet because uh, we made a video. When was it? A few days ago, and um, I, I experimented more with the green screen and okay. uh, things like that. And uh, I still have. Yeah, well, I'm having trouble getting it out. I'm having trouble getting it uploaded right now. It's a, almost oh, a nine gig video, and it's taking forever to upload. Oh, that's so cool. Well, give us a shout out when you do upload yeah. it, and we're going to reshare it where uh, where we can. So. Definitely. What's okay. your logo? Uh, I know you have two channels, and I, uh, as I was sharing it into the chat for them to support you, uh, do you want uh, both of them to be supported, or is there? Um, yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, we do. Like uh, my family yeah. channel, just stop touching. Um, the one that I call my family channel is the one just has my name right now, but I would like to rebrand it to more of a family channel. That's the one okay. that started years ago with just things that I was doing that I found interesting and I wanted to store them. And back then, huh. back then, it didn't um, it didn't matter the size of your channel. You could monetize them. So right. when it came to making balloons, I thought, I'll make a whole other channel for that. Why not? Um, there was no reason to have them together. Um, and so I, I started doing that one as a way to teach 
these guys. So if they wanted to learn if something happened to me, there's a record yeah. preserved. Yes. If their hard drive crashes, there's a record preserved. They can go online. They can see how daddy used to do it, and they can learn from that. That's so um, cool. And then uh, from, Mel's got a channel, too. She's got a few of some of our family videos on there from a long time ago, my wife. And yep. Jalik and Leilani each have a channel for when they uh, from videos that they've made. Like, Leilani really just has one that she recorded on the iPad. Angelica okay. has quite a few. So Angelica's channel is uh, Angelica World. Yeah, yeah. Quite a few things she recorded their iPad. She puts up. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, then You're there's a broadcast a... family. <laughs> What's that? You're a broadcast family. You almost have your whole network almost set up. It's amazing. Yeah, and then there's uh, the Terrace Boffer battles where um, I mo I made most of the videos on there, but I don't get well back when they were paying. I, I only got half the money from it. Not right. that I paid very much. But I was doing the work of the editing, and then the group was getting the rest of the money because it's a small group, and we needed to figure we get some money. Right. Go ahead, just, just say something. If, if you have a box of battles, there's one of them that I like. Rubby Cat. Okay, one of the characters, yeah. Rubby Cat. Um, that's so just, like, so you're like a really no, bad place. Like, don't show that. Like okay, that. That's, not, that's off subject right now. Yeah. Um, so there's a, there's a variety of channels that we have on the go right now. Well, that's cool. Those, but these two are the main ones. Like... Um, uh, the Terrace Balloon Man and my own channel, those would be the main ones that we're needing, you know, wanting to get growing. Right. And your wife, just out of curiosity, because you had mentioned briefly your wife's channel, what does she do on hers? Um, not, nothing. Ones, but I, haven't had a chance the just I don't think so you. I don't know if you can hear her or not. Some cooking ones I heard. I'm, mm -hmm. I would be excited to see that. Also. Yeah. We did, we did something like that. I have to do the editing of them. Um, yeah. But the cooking ones I want to do are like gluten free and sugar free using stevia and xylitol and stuff like that. But I just haven't, I have a lot of recipes. I just haven't had a chance to record them because with homeschooling and stuff, it's just been really busy. I can only <laughs> imagine my hat's off to you right away. <laughs> the, how about the unsung hero? So I'm sure the time is a precious commodity. So. But now that the girls are older, um, they can do it with me. So I do want to start doing them because. Now that, yeah, now they're older. Before trying to do it when Leilani was a lot younger, it was really hard. <laughs> right. But I think, yeah, it worked really well. Yeah. Well, cool. I'm, just cooking right, I'm just cooking right now, so if I'm in oh, and I'm out, sorry, the quad. Oh, no, that's okay. I just wanted to let you know, okay, so okay, if you're yeah. not, if you're wondering why I'm going in and out. Not a problem. I got my fork and knife for waiting, so. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. So those are your two channels you want to promote. Yeah. <laughs> I understand too. The adpocalypse screwed up a lot of plans that people had on where they want to go their direction in YouTube. But I think you have a lot of merit. So I still think you can really complement each one of them, like you know, promoting one off the other. And you have a pretty yeah. already yeah. both of them too. So I think you're well off the races, I would say. Yeah, well, the um, the family channel has already met the watch time numbers. It did before because I made these videos of how to put a stuffed animal in a balloon that really took off, and yeah. I put it on my regular channel. Okay. And then I also got some videos of us climbing inside those giant climb inside balloons. Those yeah. I see. Got a lot of hits. But the very first video on there that I that I uploaded really on there was um, how to fix the uh, parking brake cable on your Chevy Uplander because I had a heck of a time doing it. When I finally figured it out, I made a video with my iPad, didn't edit it, and put it up. And that got – a whole bunch of views because I guess everyone else was wondering the same thing, right? Um, and I eventually took it down, re edited it, and then re uploaded it. So now it shows up as like my second video, maybe. Um, oh. But yeah, um, yeah, a, a lot uh, of that on your Pinterest board as well. Vehicle, yeah. My, I haven't uploaded, I have not shared anything to Pinterest or, or Instagram for a long time, so I don't put a lot of stuff on there. Um, okay. But the Terrace Balloon Man channel that's the one that needs the watch time. It's got the subscriber count, but it's only got like uh, 2,600 watch hours right now. So we need another 15, 1,400 hours on there to make that. You know something? Crazy? Again. You're already ahead of us as far as watch time, even with that. So. <laughs> really? I figured with all your live streams, you guys would be up there by now. Oh, we didn't have much. We had a bunch. One video that really took off was the uh, the first wedding one we did that had a couple of, uh, what, 11 or 13,000 watches or something? Yeah. But that's passed. It's been 365 days. Okay, so that and I did a lot of really short really ones cool. in between. You see, we never wanted to monetize. We were we do video and photography, and this was just kind of where I could get to pass the time with stuff I don't get to do for clients. Yeah, and to kind of get our name around for something they can just go look at. Yeah. So I never was making videos geared towards it. 
I want to monetize now mostly is just so it makes our business more uh, noticeable when people search. Hey, if it takes yep. off, I'm happy. But yeah. the live streams have definitely made a difference. I think we're, I think today in the last 28 days, yeah, we hit 50 some thousand watch minutes. And, and this is only nice. our the live stream. So yeah. Like, so it's hot. Yeah, really, so. Mine only, my channel, the balloon one only makes about 15 to 20,000 watch minutes a month. Um, but even with that, back when it was monetized, we used to get about $20 a month on average from that channel and about yeah. 20 bucks a month from the family channel. And yeah. pretty much every two, two and a half months on average, we would get another check from Google. So yeah. um, it's nice. I want to, I want to get that going again. I don't exactly. blame you. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's nice... not, a, it's not the amount, it's the motivation. It's just something yeah. to. It's a nice uh, side, side job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. And you enjoy yeah. doing it anyway. So why not? Right. So you get yeah. Uh, my, yeah, uh, yeah, I just you might as well get paid for it. Yes, you can talk. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not actually a kid. I just have a microphone in my mouth. Right. You are a kid. Dada. <laughs> okay, calm down. You're a... six. Yeah, she knows. I kill you, dog dummies. <laughs> you don't use those words. Okay. You know better. Right. I'm here. Oh, and I also want to ask, we tell our kids the same thing, not to say it, and I'm very surprised my daughter didn't let something slip in the last minute. I was just waiting like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> she was complaining about your driving, though, while she was gone. Yeah. yeah, I heard that. <laughs> She's a bit of a, you know the black box in planes? Well, that's our daughter. So. Well, she repeats everything. Yeah. Everything, especially my driving or anything I do, I got a constant reminder. <laughs> so the insurance are listing, don't worry, there'll always be a record. So. <laughs> My daughter's yeah. the same. They'll, like, they'll tell everybody everything about, like, they'll tell you everything. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> detail too small or anything you don't want them to tell. That's exactly what they put all the emphasis on. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, makes, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I, well, uh, tell I, us more how did it start. Like, especially, I think everybody is so excited about the balloons. I know it's not the only thing you're doing, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, for this, well, for this, this video, yeah, it has to be about the balloon side of things. Uh, so can you tell us how did you start doing it or where did you learn how to do it? I think I'm as excited as kids when I see somebody making those animals or anything out of balloons. It's like magic. It is. <laughs> how they don't pop. Yeah, I, I can show you. You can go grab some you grab some balloons. I can make it. Sure. Um, but anyway, just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make a request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, I did make a video showing. There's nothing in that one. Can you please come get me? Um, I, I made a video talking about how things got started. It's the one with my mom in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's somewhere when you, if you're not subscribed, I think it's the first video up there. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Um, but it, it got started back when I was like uh, 15. We were living in Toronto at the time, and it was just a way for us to make extra money. My mom would dress as a clown, and I dress as a clown a few times, and uh, we'd have to go out there. Mainly, my mom would, you know, get, you know, make the, um, you know, call people over to the table, and they'd make a request. But there was only like 10 balloons I was working with, and it was my job just to keep the table full. So I say I, I, you know, all the skill I have is from, you know, being forced to twist balloons against my will. For oh. years. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that for about three years, until I was about 18. And then I stopped. <laughs> I didn't touch it again until we moved here to Terrace. Side note, if you ever decide to merch, you've got to make t-shirts with that slogan on it. That is amazing. <laughs> that is so twist against my will. When he yeah. started again, it was actually to impress me. We were married, and Angelica was about three. And to impress me, he went and made, I think it was a duck or a heart or something. He did something cute with balloons and gave oh it to God. me. And then so that's cute. when it, then he got interested in doing it again. Well, also, we, well, also we over. Just, I like that. <laughs> well, also, we had just moved here to Terrace in 2010. That's when she was three. Right. Um, from me. Ontario, from Northern Ontario. And, um, there uh to make it we had just moved up here and i was just getting started into this line of work right now and so to make extra money um i i would go on saturdays to the local farmer market and make balloons for tips and i would let people give me whatever they want to give me and i made more money than having a fixed price i would make like 300 bucks in cash in just a couple hours and my costs were pretty low and uh, she had to go yeah. Yeah, she's coming back. Yeah, she's coming she, back. She enjoys things for a few minutes and then she's off to the next thing. Yeah, like you girls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So um, and then from there I got known. People started asking me if I did parties because 
the nice thing about coming to a really small town, if you're the only one that does balloons, you're the only one that gets hired. So there was no competition. And right. I was the <clears throat> balloon guy. That's how I became known as the terrorist balloon man. So I made cards and I made the channel. I made a, all the different, you know, Facebook page. And um, I used to have a, a party every weekend, sometimes two on the same day, sometimes one on a, two on a Saturday, one on a Sunday. I would charge like a hundred bucks for one hour. Um, and then I used to get, then I started getting hired by big events from corporations and uh, a couple of the bands, the reserves um, would hire me. And uh, when it was big events, when it was not just a little party where things were controlled, but you'd have big lineups of people. And um, I, would, I would charge 150 an hour at them. And so it was nice extra money that could be made really quick. Oh, that's pretty it wasn't cool. passive. It was, you know, you get, you do the job, you get paid and then it doesn't pay you again. I, I like passive income. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's a, yes. I mean, it's it's a trade that I mean, it, it especially depending on the area you live into them, it could probably generate a lot of side revenue for sure. Yeah, it can. But now I want to just have my Saturdays off. Um, but okay, okay. Yeah. Is it finance services? So you find some people might not want to hear the well, they're taking care of the finances. No, you just you just mess up the insurance I'm just joking. Um, anyway, it's. Just yeah no I, I just I stopped in 2016. I just yeah. figured I'll just do balloon uh, doing this uh, yeah. YouTube. No well that's cool though. Okay. Hey you're building a worldwide audience doing it so you know something yeah. original. Uh, everybody like already we're getting comments. It's uh, people know your channel I'm, which I can't see the... by the way because I'm I'm watching you from the hangout side so I don't see the comment things going up. Oh okay no that's uh, when yeah, I that's watch from the, when I watch from the YouTube side. It's lagging and, and your mouths aren't moving at the same time as yeah. your sound. So the best thing to do is, that side. is to put them side by side. If you want to see the chat, keep your hangout open. And yeah. then on the other side, pause the video and the chat will keep running. And then you just look at the chat part. All right, let's try that. That's that's the usual workaround for that one. Because, yeah, it will lag a lot. So for those who don't right. know, is it in British Columbia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just caps look excited. Look. Bottle caps is from uh, BC, a proud BC man. So, yeah, yeah. has long requested somebody from the West. Uh, yes, Coast, that's true. Uh, I can't so. move it over. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm not able to move the I don't know how to move the thing over, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, um, all just up to you guys. will have to just cover the comment or let me know if someone says a question, and just let me know well, I can answer it. I will. Uh, there is um, uh, right now, everybody is very excited to see you. Uh, uh, to to see your family, uh, just saying hello. Uh, yeah. Nathan likes drums. Uh, Benjamin Chavez, ATH travels. Uh, people are models. People are uh, good cell life. Oh my God, everybody yeah. just saying hi. Yeah, and very excited uh, to see you on. Yeah, yeah. And these guys are normally better behaved. Actually, I, didn't, I didn't know anybody else was seeing this. I thought it was just you guys, or else I might have. Oh, so this is a live stream. The whole world is watching this right now. Seriously, <laughs> I, well, I don't know about the whole world. Maybe what? How many people? What is, right, how many now? right now, we usually get about two hundred and fifty, three hundred per show. But there's there's eighteen people watching right now, according to YouTube. Yeah. 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 Lots of views. Yeah. So yeah, and and those people are watching it live right now, Mel. <laughs> Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, girls. No. Why don't you why don't you make a balloon for an Angelique? Do you gotta make the balloon? Okay. Look at the screen tonight. Okay. There we go. So okay. Audrey's coming over because she was making us promise that we'd bring her back for the balloon, so okay. <laughs> She's been quite okay. excited awaiting your arrival. <laughs> Wanna come back home? Yeah. I still get kids. When I go in public here, I still get kids asking me for them and if I do them. And mm. well, yeah, you get popular uh, by by going to their birthdays. I'm sure they want an animal every time you they see you. I think it's so amazing yeah. to make children happy. Yeah. Like what you're doing, I think is so phenomenal. Yeah. Um, but also, no. hey, stop, stop. Now, there's many people who do them, and there's many different ways of doing them. Um, but some people have higher standards, and like I've been called a perfectionist a lot. So I tend to like my balloons to be done to a certain standard. And when I was growing up, there's a lot of people that were doing it for money that didn't have that standard. Those are the people that are still making 40 or 50 an hour when they go to an event. Um, but you can you can upgrade that if you, you know, put a little effort into it. You really you really do have a passion for it. You can feel it like just watching you. Yeah, it's really loud though. It's really loud. Yeah. Okay, she wants to make one here, but it's oh. really loud in my ear. 
So I have no trouble problem. hearing you guys. Okay, no problem. We definitely want to see. Watch, watch their watch. <laughs> but do, do you have a request? Would you like something? Yeah. What would you like? Uh, you, you like won't, you... Penguin. Oh my say god. That again, say that again. I'm a ladybug. <laughs> ladybug. Ladybug? Yeah. Okay, you want a ladybug? Yeah. You're not gonna be able to wear it, but you can see one made. Okay. Okay. You see one? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. She's adorable, your little girl. Oh. Really nice manners. <laughs> like I said, I see equal energy, so we understand completely. So yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess that hopefully keeps us young. That's what I'm praying for. So yeah, that's My other oh, one's actually just ran outside. Oh <laughs> I love she's, that. She's running off some energy out there, hopefully. Well, it's so amazing because you guys still have sun, and of course, here it's dark now, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's right here. Yeah, we still have snow too. We have a lot of snow. We're three hours behind you guys. Oh yeah, I know. We used to live in. Audrey was born actually in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Audrey was born in southern Saskatchewan, just uh, uh, the town of Weyburn. Yeah. And I was little baby. Yeah, you were a little baby. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I was the one year old. One year old. One year old. <laughs> Okay, because I know story okay. time can get quite long sometimes. I, I know Same when she's going. <laughs> Same with ours. I'm usually having to cover up my daughter's mouth and say, okay, and delete your stuff. Yes, yes. <laughs> we're we're trying to talk. Talk. <laughs> we should join a support group together, all of us, so we can all yeah. talk. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to keep this in the shot as best I can. Okay. Gotcha. And I have to remember how to do it because it's been a little while since I've done this. Now you'll get to see the balloons that break because on the video I usually edit them out. And then you just give your kid uh, this to hold. Hey, <laughs> hold on for me. Don't touch it. Don't break it. Don't touch it. <laughs> and I would get whatever kid I was making this to uh, to help whenever I was making the uh, balloons. Yeah. And you see they're quite squeaky when they're up close like this. Yeah, but this is a we're in awe right yeah. now. We can't even talk. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cool. <laughs> It's a bracelet. Oh, Whoa. look at that. Get the work on. Get it back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's a wearable. So either the kid would wear it on a bracelet or I'd put it on a stick for them, like a leaf or, you know, another balloon. You are so amazing. I this I, I honestly were like in awe. We couldn't even talk watching you do this. It's so much skill. They're fishing uh, with bottles, says a balloon man got skills. I guess he does. It, it, we love yeah, your channel so much. Like, We're huge fans. So, like I said, that comes from years years of being forced to do it against your will. <laughs> well, the, unfortunately, against will or not, you definitely have one well, heck of a talent now. Yeah, so, well, my, 
My mom made me do it. That's the other thing. This is this is how really? I got into balloons. Yeah, my mom and, made me do it. And why did she get you into balloons? What was the connection? Because she couldn't twist them fast enough. <laughs> oh. She was slow. Like, watch the video I made with her on there. Okay. Yeah, he also, he also, they also, or she also made him dress up like a clown when he was doing it too. A few times, oh, really? a few she times, but then I stopped. Auntie type of thing, she wanted it all. So, well, I think she really got something good for you. Maybe. Yeah, you well, I, I was not a good clown, but I could make balloons. <laughs> I picture you in the clown suit, but like straight face, like I don't want to do this. Like, let's, I can just well, see, <laughs> like a like a sixteen year old that just doesn't want to be there, doesn't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a good clown. <laughs> well, I know you don't want to give uh, away all your uh, tricks, but one question. How do you make them not pop? Okay. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> Angelica, Angelica, I'm trying to talk. I need to talk. I need to be quiet. Can you take that off? Hey, just come and show it. Come and show it. And then you go. And we're going to cover it. She's almost done it. It's yeah, yeah. She's almost, definitely want to see what she's done for sure. Yeah, she's almost She's almost done with everything she's making there, but I'll give a tip here. She makes, she makes some really fantastic. Angelica, um, she takes after her daddy. She actually will sit there sometimes watching a documentary or watching a show, and she'll sit there with a bunch of balloons, and she'll make a princess with the face and the full breast and everything. That's oh, amazing. Wow. wow. Hey, good job. Look at her. Hey, 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 so she actually does do really big ones though too. <laughs> You're really good at a great job. What does that say? You need to do shirt. It's her shirt what? says hello kitty. Yeah, hello kitty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's look like Benjamin, Sloan. Sloan. if I didn't very interesting. Look, it actually looks like a coyote or something. Kyle looks like Sid the Sloth hey, to Daddy. me. Looks like Sid the Sloth. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is so. <laughs> okay. Here. It actually looks like. Guys, okay. those are the tips of the ears. Like, I know. Okay, so to make it so that it doesn't pop, this is where a lot of people don't know. You need to leave a space at the end. I don't yeah. know. Every time you twist a balloon, every time you make a twist, you've just pushed about a half an inch of air down the other end. Oh. So a lot of people just put a ton of air in and give right. no mind to what's happening. But as you, whatever your design is, you got to plan and leave a decent sized tail, depending on what design you're making. Oh, that so, cool. thank so that's you. step one: leave space and make sure it's soft. The other thing is when you twist it, don't rub it. Like if you rub them together, these are biodegradable latex. Heat will cause them to break down. Okay. You know, if you rub them together, you break it. Right. So when I twist, I'm actually pulling it apart. You can hear that squeakiness from my fingers rubbing it, but this this joint is not rubbing. I'm just spinning it. Oh, that's so interesting. And then, and then when you're going to do other things like um, that is so cool. when you're going to do um, a thing like this, like a, a pinch twist, like where you do this, I'm actually squeezing it and pulling it apart. I like, just do it quick, so you squeeze oh. it and pull apart. So you don't rub. So that's how you don't break it. Is don't let them rub together. Wow. This is so interesting. Like it's Thank amazing you. what goes into it. Yes. There's so much in it. Yeah. Might as, well just, might as well just finish this one. I don't think so. I think. Oh, is, I think well, of course it is. No, it, is. <laughs> uh, it probably is. Oh, well, I know what it is. I think. Okay, here's an example of what happened. Yeah, I, I I didn't leave enough space on this one, and now I'm down to the very end, and this last twist is going to be a super tight one. And this is something that could break. Like if I was making this for a kid somewhere, I would restart. I would just start another one. And say, here you go. You get a free. Whatever. Oh, or, 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 or if the parents were there, I'd make a joke like, here you go, finish this yourself or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's very <laughs> nice. I love the tricks of the showman too. But anyway, and then that's happens when you try to make it that's too tight and it breaks. And actually, oh, why did I left the end of the tip? Was that to the edge of the tip? Okay. So I used the last of it. Well, you did a great job. 
You, yeah, she's, she's going to be the terrace balloon girl. I see that. No, that's she's nice to have someone her following in your footsteps. I loved your yeah. guys' video where you were making a hamburger. Yeah, that was her idea. Look at my balloon lady. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that nice? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it's the FC lady. Bye. Bye. Show it to What's your phone number? <laughs> she doesn't have one. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. We have, well, we have two cells, and that's it. Okay. I need to talk to my daddy right in front of you guys. Oh yeah. Dad, if you see my movies, you might have seen If you see mine uh, on my channel, you might have. If you. If we watch your channel. Yeah. You might like see what it has geese and some ducks. This is actually a duck queen. It's so <laughs> tiny. I just saw it and it's so cute. It's oh. a video she made. And it's on her channel. Yeah. Is what oh. she's saying. She filmed some ducks and some geese. By Port in Port Dover, Dover. In, by Port Dover, Ontario, she had recorded a bunch of geese and stuff by the river. Oh, oh. And oh, so she put on the YouTube video. Oh, wow. Well, well, like a second that. pop. Okay. Oh. Daddy ate a ladybug in his eggs. Okay, yes, that I did do. It was in the salad. Um, <coughs> so there, there was a ladybug in the salad for some reason. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I asked either. the girls if they wanted to eat it, and they said no, so I said fine. Right <laughs> was that cool? Yeah. yeah. Mama, come to your house. Yeah, I bet yeah, you I do. knew that was coming. I bet you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And for the next five days, I'm going to hear we're going to go visit you and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, take about five days to get here. Yeah. Okay. You want to say good night? Night. You're going to bed? Yeah. Okay, bye take bye. a night again. Good night. Bye bye. Oh, and I need to talk to you. She has blue eyes just like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a message on my Facebook. Leilani, your name is Leilani. Just call me Kamsa because I always your name is Leilani. She's always, She's always changing her name. Oh, yeah, I don't like Elsa and Moana and who else? There's a whole uh, bunch of you. I'm married. Moana, I'm missing. I've been scary. That's a water. Moana is thank you, my mama. And nobody can't want to sing. Yay! <laughs> okay, okay, good night. Say good night. Love you. Good night. Good night. Bye. I'm just making two more. Uh, <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 We got the we got the other big television hooked up because we're listening to we're listening to you guys okay. in the surround side. <laughs> oh, okay. The last thing is holy bubble you from there. So oh. <laughs> she said good night to the girls again. Okay. I need to talk to you. Okay. Let me talk to you one more time. The white thing goes in my mouth is bubble gum. No, it's butter. Um, this is why I can't make a video with both of them. It's very rare that there's a video with both of them in it. Because well, the let's... editing is uh, horrendous afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I try to just do one of them at a time in a video. I, I understand completely. They're very funny. They're very cute. Though. Oh, It's nice to see her doing the balloons. I think that's so amazing. Yeah, people were just yeah. uh, in awe. You yeah. know, just wow. One word. Wow. Benjamin, TriStar, Balloons, yeah. and, uh, Gregory. Like, everybody is just wow. Yeah. <laughs> just enjoying you doing that. Because it's such a... Uh, yeah, it, it's it's even better than magic because magic yeah. you you know that there's some kind of you know trick under, but yeah. you just don't. But this is like it's actually it's, happening. It's true, oh. true raw talent. That's <laughs> yeah. what I appreciate about so it's much. So it's amazing. really a pleasure. It's mesmerizing. I was blown away, and I'm not usually like that. Watching you make the ladybug, I was watching yeah. everything you were doing, and then when you explained after about pulling the balloon apart, leaving the spacing, and all that, it's yeah. a craft. It's a true, true craft. It's such a pleasure to watch. <laughs> We love your channel. Just so you know, I, I have to deal with the size of his head when you're done. 
<laughs> so, uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> it is it is amazing. Seeing him do it, it really like when I watch him, like even though he does it all the time here, I'm still amazed as well at just some of the stuff, the creativity. It takes a lot of creativity. And the things that he's come up with, it's just wow. You took the question right out of my mouth because that's what I wanted to ask you. Is about after now seeing for so long if it still wows you, and that's great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, you should get Mel on sometime. We're not trying to build her channel, but if you want to have someone to talk about health, oh, talk your ear off it. about health food stuff. Yes, definitely. I would love to. We actually, uh, I have, uh, um, we only tried this once, but I have this PJ party where I have like uh, girls uh, guests uh, and we just talk, you know, uh, different stuff. Like last time I had Lady Borgia, we talked about makeup and stuff and health uh, and, and, health and you know, cooking, fatigue. just anything yeah. that comes in mind that girls talk about. So if you would love to come, I would love to have her talk about cooking. I love cooking, so we can talk for hours about yeah. that. So. Wait, cooking? Oh, if there's time. I yeah, don't have to cook. Yep. 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 Yes. Me too. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. there's a video. Okay. Benjamin and yeah. his girls to watch. Oh, it's not excellent. Yeah, though. our chat people are tuning in their family, their kids to watch your uh, you talking now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're all excited. Wait. Okay, here, Leilani, you gonna take this? Do I know how long I am? I think that's so cool. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> the, the amazing part about it is it lights up not only kids but adults yeah. as well. I, I, you know, when you're watching any parties or events, uh, people watching, it's not just kids that get excited. I think parents even more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, a lot of times, yeah, a lot of times parents were expecting like the basic balloon animal. Like yeah. I'd go to places, people would hire me, and they're, they're expecting me to do this. Oh, is it a ladybug? <laughs> it's a I know. People were expecting me to do this. There you go, it's, kid. The dog. Oh, but it's still amazing. But yours is just there, such an next There level. you go, kid. It's an elephant. Like, I think that's what people were expecting. And then I'd start making stuff, and they would uh, realize that no, like there's, you can do a lot more with balloons. Oh and then yeah. The parents would start making requests too. Yeah, definitely. I, I never knew before oh, it's oh, yeah. actually possible. I, I thought like what we have seen before it mostly has been basic stuff, but you just like show the, 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 the green one. And I never thought you could make something more exquisite, but watching your channel, I got excited about it because it's amazing the detail to the the object you're making, you know, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> talent. Yeah. Hey, Lenani, Lenani, please put them away. Okay, I will show I will show it. She wants everybody to see the ferrets that she has. Oh my god. That's our that's, that's EJ. And this is Jake over there. Oh my and that's, and this is mine. And EJ is the white one, he's no albino. Oh, so cute. And they're super friendly. They never bite. Oh my god! And they're like, you're great. You're great for ca uh, kids because they're so like they're they're so flexible. Oh, oh my god! I would love it. Oh, and thank you for oh. one. One he likes to oh, chew on yeah. the balloon. Oh, yeah. He will like here. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. show you oh. What they're saying is they. Like the ferrets love balloons. They absolutely adore the balloons. They just if, the, if they're out and you leave balloons, they'll catch. They'll catch, like take them all and go stash them. Yeah. Oh my god. We'll break them, of course. But they, yeah, they actually love balloons. Oh yep. my. Yeah, I thought they would be scared of the sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In the chat, they're saying the ferrets love them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, can, and, and yeah, now we got ferret hair here everywhere. And and I, when this live stream is done, I have a meeting to go to too. So my oh day is not God. done. I can't get hair all over me yet. Yes, I, I I know you have a limited time today, so uh but we do appreciate you coming in. Uh what is the future for your channel? You a little bit uh, talked about it already, but uh, where where is your goal, so to say? What what do you want to reach with it? Right now, I just want to get it monetized again. And after that, 
Uh, not, not, I don't know. Like it's, uh, it's not a huge part of my life right now. There's a lot of other things I'm working on. Yeah. Other, I, you know, I have another channel that I keep my name off of for right now that I put uploads off every week to, um, that's more cause it's more in my real interest right now. Yeah. Um, and, and so this particular one is not something that I, I put too much time into as, as people might have noticed, I don't put a lot of uh, videos up. I, I should put more. I want to get like one of everything that I know how to make up there. That would be um, so cool. Just as you know, so people know and, and can see and can learn. Um, but not, uh, I don't have big plans for the channel because I don't have time to do it all either. Yeah. I might start doing some quick videos that require a little editing, where it's just me and just an up close one of how to do like the real detailed work of how to tutorial type ones, not right. so much the ones that we've been doing up because the ones with them in it is more of a partly entertainment, it's more like a family vlog type video. Yeah. Um, I might start doing some actual tutorial ones to make some real uh, evergreen content, some stuff for people that are actually searching for how to make a balloon horse or how to make a something, you know, and, and they want to see a nice clear one with no background noise and see how it's done. I want to start making some of those. Yeah, well. that's a good idea too. Sorry, I had to run for a minute. I had to get coffee that was on the side. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're addicted I, to coffee. Yeah. I, uh, you'll be an excellent, excellent teacher for that. You're good at your craft. You're very well spoken. And you're very focused when you do it. And I think you'll make excellent videos like that. Great tutorial videos. I don't know if I can do it because I still tie my finger in the balloon every time I try. So <laughs> I don't know if I'll be your excellent. Yeah, I'm the one that ties the balloon yes. in the house. But uh, I don't know if I would be able to make any animals. Oh, my God. Well, that, you gotta, you gotta yeah, you got to practice tying it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right to the basics. I'm like right down to the <laughs> It's yeah. an awful thing. I swear to God, I can't tie a balloon for the life of me. <laughs> it's, not, it's not, this is not bragging people. This is a sad, sad story right now. <laughs> no, that he can't tie a, a balloon or has trouble tying a balloon. Well, actually, I she, do, there was a time when she had trouble tying a balloon too. Actually, Josh told me that what you do is once you blow it out, you let a little bit of air out because a um, little bit of air out and then it makes it stretchier. Okay. And I found that I would pull it out farther and wrap it around. But when I first started trying to tie the balloons, it was a nightmare for me. <laughs> but yeah, I found that letting some of the air out after you, if you overblow it a little bit, let a little bit of air out, and then it allows the end to be a little bit more stretchy. I'm taking heavy notes right now. So, because yeah, that is my goal. 2018 is my year of the balloon. <laughs> yeah. I definitely just take, just take an empty balloon and just tie a knot in it. Hey. Like just, Practice tie a knot in an empty balloon or a string, and then that's, that's all you need to do to tie a balloon. The problem is I need that whole length to get it done properly. <laughs> but I am going to try what you said about blowing, overblowing it a bit and letting a bit out and then doing it. So Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming. It's, it's so amazing. Yeah. Uh, we have to have you back again. I'm sure yes. people are going to be requesting more and more. Uh, this is so amazing. Thank you for having us. Oh, no problem. And like Xenia was saying, uh, she has this kind of panel thing we're looking at starting maybe once a month or so. And she calls it the Saturday Night Pajama Party. And it's all going to be only women all together talking, cooking, health, uh, all kinds of different topics. I would like to have you on if you want to talk about your channel and just chat around. That would be awesome. Perfect. Well, we'll be in touch then yes. soon. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> this was really nice, guys. And uh, send us a link uh, for your new video once it's uploads, yeah. and uh, we're going to reshare it on our social channels as well. We're okay, going to make this balloon good. big this time, I promise that's you. Right. <laughs> yes. And remember that slogan you had for your shirt. You got to the first time you merchandise. That's got to be on there about the balloon. What's your, what's your mom about the... Uh, no, forced to do it against my... Yeah. Yes. Yes. So this, this level of skill comes from being forced to twist balloons against your will. That's, That's right. right. That is the me. ultimate. You should be branding that everywhere. That Sounds is like so amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. I know you got to run, so I'll let you yeah. go. Uh, thank you. And uh, you, yes. And I would love to see your channel too. So just uh, let your dad. Oh, Angelica's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, just Angelica's world. Um, there's a lot of them, though. So, yeah, I suppose I should send you a link. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, please do. Um, oh, uh, can I say something if it's okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not in that big of a rush, by the way. It's still flexible on the meeting time. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. We, we had a cat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> What's your cat's name? Tiny. Cause we're tiny. Gonna die. Yep, tiny. Oh, tiny. Sorry. Yeah, it, we had a cat named Tiny who died we, earlier this year. We lost Tiny. Oh. Oh, oh, I I oh, I'm sorry. Tells everybody. <laughs> there were those things where we were talking about earlier where every, they come out with everything and never. She as for the last like couple months, yeah. almost every time we go out, you, she ends up telling somebody about the cat when we meet somebody new. Oh my god. Well, it is uh, quite an upsetting yeah. thing. I know I always yeah. had cats when I was growing up. I'm not laughing about the cat. I'm laughing about your scenario. I can't. No, Once again, I, I, anybody with animal rights, I'm not saying anything bad about animals. No, I, <laughs> I don't understand. It's, it's just funny how kids tell everybody everything. <laughs> you can say a million good things, and the one thing that you don't want them to really get into too much, that's the one will yeah. always be number one. On the yes. uh, what, no. what do you want to tell them about it? No. No, no, no. Don't tell them about no. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I need to learn how to do a live stream. I really want to be able to do those. Okay. Um, I'm not wanting to use a webcam. I want to be able to use my actual camera. Right. Um, and have a hook to the computer and do that. And I haven't figured that one out yet. But I'm not sure if I can do that with her <laughs> <laughs> because of this what stuff. This what is what she say? does. And sometimes what? if it's inappropriate, I'll edit it out. Sometimes I'll do it because it's funny. But sometimes it gets inappropriate, and I have to like, oh, wait, wait, wait. we can't put that on YouTube. What? Oh my god, that's so funny. Or she just pushes it, you know, we're just like, okay, like it's done. Daddy's done. I just want to make my balloon down and go. Yeah. So when you with the first few videos like I made they it, like her, the camera. Um, I, I edited them a lot. Um, but then I started leaving stuff like that in or putting it at the end of the video because yes. yeah. I'm gonna show her when she's older, when she has kids. <laughs> when her kids are doing it to her, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, then I'm gonna again, point out and remind her. And then remember That's, that our kids are doing to us what we did to our parents, so it always is yeah. a full circle. You did that to your parents? Yeah. Oh yeah, my mother's good at reminding me about that kind of stuff. Yeah. You see, Andrew, I used to play drums uh, when he was growing up in the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that was very loud. Yeah. So now our daughter looks like uh, she's yeah. liking uh, drumming Drum. a lot. So. Um, I think yeah, it's coming. It's coming back. <laughs> I was joking last night when we had our music night that that's the most weight my father ever lost in his life was when I played drums. He lost 40 pounds from walking. <laughs> and that's not a joke. That's a true story. So at least I hope if she plays, I'll get some benefit like he did out of it. So yeah, you go for a walk and lose some weight. Exactly. When yeah. we talk about parents and parenting, uh, here uh, in the chat, some uh, comments, positive comments about uh, you guys homeschooling your kids. Yes. Uh, I know three star travelers is homeschooling too. Would love having another homeschool family on. Um, oh, if you want to, if you want to talk homeschooling and all that, you got to get my wife on. Uh, she's the one who does the homeschooling. My only experience is I was homeschooled myself. I was homeschooled all the way up to grade twelve. Okay. So, you know, and um, but as far as the homeschooling side of things, Mel's the one who takes care of it. But yeah, she'll talk for hours on health and homeschooling. That's really? Yeah. 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 Our travelers is our yes. thing. that would be amazing. Okay. I will have to do another show. Oh, yeah. oh my god, there's not enough yeah. for everything. You guys got too many yeah. yes. in one family. Well, well, yeah, and that's not even the half of it, too. Uh, <laughs> there's a whole lot. Take it back to mommy. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Just stop. Calm down. Calm down. We have a ton of interest. Yeah. Calm down. Well, that's cool, though. That's great. I mean, that's a broaden. Uh, I grew up in a very small rural area. And that was the one hope that I always had for my children. I don't knock a small area. I just always wanted them to have big world experiences. Yeah. You can have that wherever you are. You can have that living in the middle of nowhere. It's just how you teach your kids how to look at the world. And that's yeah. what's nice when I see you guys. I can already see you're doing that with your children. Yeah. And we want to travel more with them. We, we've done that quite a bit. We want to you know, do more of it here in Canada. We, we've gone across Canada twice in a school bus. Yeah, we've driven across Canada. We took yeah. all the seatbelts, we put a mattress in with a deep freeze, and ran some batteries, and okay. then we drove across Canada. And, and we, we slept on a mattress on the floor. And we still have the bus, because uh, you see it in my one video where I make the moose. <laughs> it's in the picture that I use for the thumbnail yeah. today. The video. Video. That's, that's the one, yeah, we bought that bus in northern Ontario as a moving truck to we, move out here. Yeah, and then it was so much fun, we ended up using it as an RV just to cross the country a couple of times. That is so um, amazing. But where where were you from? Where were you born and raised? 
I was born in uh, the Gatsby Z. Uh, okay, which is that part, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. other side. All right, Mel was born in Granby. Oh. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, her family's from like the St. Joachim area there and Waterloo area, yeah, Eastern Townships. That's where her her's from. Okay. Um, we met, but they live in, most of them live in Ontario now, and that's where we met was in Brantford. Mm. That's so what I was going to ask you about town. Okay. Yeah, so every summer, pretty much, we go down to Brantford. Every summer and Christmas almost now, we go we travel back to Ontario, but we usually fly. But I'd like right. to be able to drive. I'd like to be able to take the time off and actually drive yeah. again. Because right it's now, been like five years since I've done that. Yeah, because right now building a business, you can't take the time to drive out. So we fly right now. But as soon as he's able to take the time off, like because it helps with the cost of income coming in, then we do want to spend more time traveling with the bus instead of flying because we can enjoy all the time in between. It, it, yeah. You know, we did that with our kids since they were babies. They've traveled all over. We, like, well, like Zenia, since the mid-2000s, since she came to Canada, We've done every province, and I've already done them, but we, together with her again, we did every province in Canada. Uh, yeah. We've traveled a lot through Europe. We actually spent seven days in a Honda Civic with a four and an eight year old in Iceland. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And did four days in Denmark and uh, slept in farmers' fields like in the midnight sun, and the kids were bathing in the, those hot natural hot springs and stuff. And yeah. We got married in Iceland. Awesome. We were showing the pictures the other night. We had a Viking wedding. Yeah, in uh, two, on Canada Day, two thousand fourteen, we got married. We've been together already for years, but we eloped and left the kids at home. And uh, yeah. yeah, we had a Viking wedding, and you know, it was a pagan wedding. Yeah, that's what it actually is. Wedding. A wedding, a Viking wedding. Yeah, yeah, style. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a Viking is a style. So remember when we went to that one yeah. that they had the Celtics so, and they all dressed up in uh, those costumes? So she's oh, getting yeah. all excited. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's the, that's the kind of thing that we want to do. Uh, is be able to go places like that too, but for right now we're still working on Canada. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Canada, you could yeah. spend your whole life and never even see a quarter of it. Yeah. You know, I love this country. I love traveling it. We would leave like you guys probably do. You know, I come home from work and say, "Let's go," and in fifteen minutes, we were gone. You know, it's just a backpack. You know, <laughs> kids don't slow you down. They're just that's just an excuse not to travel, in my opinion. Like Tristan yeah. travelers, they homeschool their children because they're traveling so much as yeah. and living coast to coast they have three girls and they, they probably are, homeschool too right yeah, yeah and and they yeah. are homeschooling on the road as they said so yeah. <laughs> they, they were so saying earlier learn. they understand the struggles and activity of kids all around but uh, they are so happy to see somebody doing it too yeah and there's a lot of um places a lot of things you can like there's homeschool groups where we live where they get together and they go on a tour of this building or this place you know tour of the hatchery tour of yeah, um, the, yeah. you know different off buildings out there um when she gets older i wanted her to be able to go on more tours so that she can learn what to um you know learn, learn what options there are for earning a living and Jalika, look there's pictures from their wedding that's just wow. okay. Oh, That's yeah. a picture for you since you were so excited. <laughs> that is See, awesome. That's what they mean by their Viking wedding. You guys look so. amazing. Thank you. There's a TV show called Vikings on the History Channel. Yeah. And that's actually as we the dress is made from screenshots from Floke's wedding where he married Helga. We brought down like 30 screenshots and had the dress recreated. Oh yeah. Sorry, yeah. that's the favorite popping the balloons. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. That is actually the ferret. They love, Where's, like you said, they love the moon. Where? Oh, all those ferrets. They were showing oh. two ferrets. One is albino, no. one is uh, like a where, regular one. Where oh. do you show, um, wait, um, where's the pictures of us from Family Camp? Um, no idea. You know how to find them? Uh, they would be in photos. Where's your dad? Did you have a Santa Claus? Um, I put them, but didn't, didn't I tag you in them? You guys have so much dynamic in the family. It's so amazing. Yeah, we have yeah. people coming in since it's nine o'clock. So. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, anyway, I was trying to I was trying to find pictures from the whole family camp because it was a medieval style family family camp we just went to last year. It's right here, right? So it's I had my hair down and we had a tunic on and they all had these fancy dresses and I can't find the pictures. I wouldn't know how to share them on here anyway. Where Where was it? Uh, on my Facebook. We'll put it in the comments. We'll add the picture of me no, writing in your comments. No, we can't. Definitely. On YouTube, on YouTube we can't. Add it. Oh, you can't in the comments? No. Okay. This is not Facebook. I'm still learning. <laughs> you know, no, it's okay. Don't worry about that whatsoever. You can send it to us in our messenger. Yeah. Okay. And then we can put them up. Definitely want to see. Where was there? There, there. Uh, so oh. I, I found them. You <laughs> found them. All right. All right. Can you show us what you found? Let me see. Yep. She's going to send it over to my computer yeah. and then I'll bring them up. 
Sorry. Okay. We're, we're become I, we're becoming just like CTV on. now. We're so good right, at this. <laughs> like on my on from my Facebook page. Yep. yep. I, I'm, I do my homework. <laughs> okay. Did I thought I had those set to friends? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I usually put anything with the kids in it set to friends, and anything that's not kids, I um or or the YouTube stuff, I'll put as public. But it doesn't matter. Everyone can see it. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're just down a couple. There you go. Yeah. Just getting in there. Yeah, because I had to look for. Uh, there we go. We're just like. See my claws. <laughs> Get one where we're smiling. Okay. <laughs> you got it. I'm excited to see these. So let's see. I'm gonna have to go back to me. We're gonna switch. Oh, sorry, guys. Just be a second. Okay. It's it's not the fastest way to do it sometimes, unfortunately. Yeah, there no, we the go. First, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. That so, is uh, cool. Yeah. Oh, those are you see I that? actually, you see Josh's outfit? I actually made that in one day, sewed it all together just off the top of our heads. And I'm, wow. not, a, I'm, not, I'm not a sewer. Yeah, and I put the lace in. I just cut it around him and then we, I sewed it up and yeah, and then he yeah. still, we literally cut a hole for my head, put the sheet over me, put my arms out. She cut with scissors and then stitched it up. And then I turned it inside out and sewed it up. That oh my so God, cool. you really are a talented family. My goodness. That's our backyard though, all that grass. Yeah, yeah we live out in the, the, we live in the country with two acres. Yep. Oh, that, I love it. And we didn't kill those animals. We bought the furs a long time ago. <laughs> that yeah. makes you see all yeah. of these guys love the wolves of yeah. the type of animals. Oh, oh guys, this is so cool. That's you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is going to other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, that's okay. Way. Obviously, they're public. I didn't know <laughs> I, I didn't know they were set to public, but no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're gonna show there. We'll, yeah, yeah. We'll do those I just ones. wanted to show yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. uh, but that's amazing. That that is so cool, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? This is why we started. We said we would. We said we would never do a live stream, but I've said time and time again, this is why we like doing live streams is to get to find all the other things because the videos are great. We all have talents enough to be on here and making videos or whatever we do as a skill. But there's always yeah. so much more to a person than you get to see on YouTube day to day. And yeah. like this is an amazing example of it once again. So uh, we found each other and I'm a creator, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Um, now, I don't have a ton of time, so yep. not, I don't mean to say, but I mean like just normally, like um, so when I get on a lot of person's videos, I just oh, I just open the video, I make a quick comment, and then I leave it to play with the volume down. Thank so you. Usually when I get on a video, the video plays all the way, um, but I um, if when I get on there, just say nice or something like that. Um, that's just because it's all the time I have. Yes. Yeah. I'm I have just a couple hours. Like most of the day, I'm at the office, and then I have these guys when I get home. Yep. And I have a couple of uh, channels I want to make, um, things I have to do. And then there's my own um, like in investing stuff that I do because I'm a financial advisor by day. So oh. I have that at the office. But then when I get home, I, there's my own investing that I want to do, stuff I'd like to do, like stuff I don't do for clients, the stuff that I only you know, want to do for myself. Yep. Um, and it takes time that I got to do as well. Um, so when it comes to the YouTube stuff, I just – uh, I, I spend a lot of time just going nice light and move on to the next one. And I have like 50 tabs open, yeah, yeah. Many, you know, 20 tabs open um, with all videos playing all the way through and it slows well, down my supports. internet and everything. But yeah, that's, that's what I do. Thank you. Hey, in there. Support is support, you know, so we all can do what we can do. No, you know, we're not super people. Xenia and I kind of jumped in this with both feet and then we had to kind of back off a bit. Yeah. And now, especially because of the live stream, we, it, it People don't realize we do it two to three hours a night. No, and yeah. then we don't go to bed till like one o'clock, one thirty, sometimes two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and it is hard. I and mean, I mean, we still have our business too. Yeah, we got to do the day to day business <laughs> stuff. And yeah, I feel bad to in a lot of the videos that a lot of people found me. They might like they like the live streams, but I miss doing the stuff that was I was passionate about. You know. Yeah, like, I think you've seen some of uh, what you had common one was like my train videos and stuff from the gas bay. Yes, that's where I started seeing them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and those are great. Nice. I'm just doing that, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is fun and I love it, but it doesn't give the same creative feel as as we like you doing the live stream, but not doing balloons anymore. Right. You know? Well, I know, but I do that's what I do want to though. I do want to do a live stream where I take requests 
Yep. People ask for a specific design and then the tips on it maybe, or just to see, or maybe it'll just be people wanting to see one made. Right. You know, you know challenge the balloon guy kind of thing. Well, that's so. what I was going to say. Like, if I didn't have you guys, this is the only part that really, truly makes me love doing live stream is getting to meet all these families here and stuff like that. I, I think yeah. uh, uh, Matt was asking for a goat. Oh, yeah, somebody <laughs> asking for a goat. Can you do uh -huh. one more before you go? Not a goat. Um, I have to give that one some thought. Um, there's yeah, I'll do one more, but um, pick another, pick another animal or thing or something. I make a really good worm. I make a good snake. I make a good banana. I make a good <laughs> I make a pickle. Would you like a pickle? He's making with the balloon jokes, folks. <laughs> I, you can make a basic version of just about anything. <laughs> what is what? What is your favorite one to make? That's not too like I don't want nothing too taxing on you, but something that you're. Um, you're hang on, hang on. I love making a worm. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, I, okay. How, okay. You want one that is not on my channel yet? Yes. Definitely. I got. Sounds good. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Oh, don't say, don't, 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 let them guess. Let them guess as I make it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Whisper Where's the little okay, whisper in my ear. Whisper in my ear. No, I can't. No, I can't do that. <laughs> for these little ones, you got to use a pump. I don't have the lungs for these tiny little ones. One sixties. They're very, very thin. Turn around. Turn around. What's up? Get up. Oh, she got me. Okay. okay, right and here. Let me get my Angelica. Angelica. She has a green spot right here. Okay, Angelica, don't you? Oh, that's <laughs> on her back. No. Yep. Yeah. Leonie's Lani, got marker all over her. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of normal when it comes to these girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's self made tattoos, we call them. They got Daddy, okay. 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 Yes, hang on, hang on. Here. A little bigger, bigger, bigger. This is not the one I'm working on, by the way. Okay, girls, I gotta make this without interruptions. Okay. okay. And I'm trying to do it sitting down. What an amazing dad! He gets to blow balloons just to keep his daughters for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's like, <laughs> the all, such a great dad for that. Okay. Um, Angelica, please, please, please. Stop. Okay. Hang on. All right. Well, this is not okay. um, she, made she made this. She made this one. Oh, and it's, it's 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 me. Wow. She made me. Okay, there's this ponytail. That's, That's unbelievable. That's my ponytail, and then she drew the beard, and she. That's it. That's amazing. Yeah. I I never wear white That's pants. So cool. I can't believe the how well she did it. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And we, she came up with that all on her own. Yeah. Just from wow. watching Daddy and, do this. And she was drawing. She was like, okay, Daddy, turn your head. Turn your head. And then she finished drawing. That is so wow. amazing. It looks like you too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did an amazing job. Great job. Okay. It's like a week old, I think. There, it's not a week old. It still has air in it. Okay. That's a, how long do they usually last? Uh, they can last like, like a couple weeks. They just start to shrivel up. Right, but they can last yeah several weeks before they really shrivel. Oh, that's cool! That is such an amazing yeah, job I she did. It. Yeah, I love it. Okay, oh my yeah. God. No, that, don't make You'll get that Okay. Keep it on burger. Burger coming off the stove. Oh, jeez. You want me to put fangs? <laughs> okay. Pick, pick up that, pick, uh, pick up that thing. Okay, I got, I got to finish this. Okay, okay, just watch, just watch. Well, no, because you're gonna tell everybody. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Okay. 
this is one that's not on my uh, i think i just gave it away uh this one's not on my uh channel yet but it will be um i will make the tutorial on this one i have a not, i'm thinking of, i'm thinking from garfield odie no turn your hopes down a little bit um <laughs> um i i haven't learned a good garfield yet but i should <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's pretty. I, I, the colors kind of give it away. I know it is. Yeah. Ian brings it. Gets the tie on. That's a. That's incredible. Giraffe well, is thing, but I can't, I can't stop watching the technique long enough to guess. <laughs> Let me back leg for a bit long. Oh, not done yet. I don't All right, yes, you know, because you've seen it before. No, you cannot. No, no you can't say it. No, that's me and Marcus. Get me a marker. Marker, stop. That is unbelievable. No. Can't say it now. Okay, go ahead and say it. It's a trap! Yay! <laughs> that is so uh, that is so freaking cool. Yeah, giraffe living uh, coast to coast. Uh, yeah. And Matt Cook Oregon. Uh, they both okay. guessed it. That is so. It's hard to see from this just this one angle thing because it's kind of big, but it's um. Oh wow! Yeah. A, okay. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It, Love it, my God! Okay. It's just a basic one that um, a basic one that's impressive because the big eyes, people love it. The big nose. Use a few balloons when you do it, and people, you know, there's more perceived value in it. Uh, but when I was doing this for money, I used to track my costs. Um, I made a video on it where I'd weigh my whole bag. So because it's really hard to count your balloons as you go, but you have a cost per balloon. Right. So I weighed my bag before I left the house, and I'd weigh it when I got back. And when I bought balloons, I would weigh the, bo the box that they come in. I dump them all out, and I'd weigh all the balloons, so I knew my cost per gram of balloon. Oh my! He is a financial analyst. <laughs> <laughs> but I also, of course, knew the cost per balloon because I would order because uh, I'd order them bags of hundred, right? So I knew that these balloons here cost me nine cents each. These ones cost me about six cents each. These round white ones cost me five cents each. This is a few years ago. These ones here cost me about six cents each. Um, so. When I was doing it for tips, sometimes people would come up and give me a quarter, and for something that has five balloons in it, I'd be like, oh, you know, it actually cost me more than that to just in balloons, right? <laughs> and then they, you know, give a better tip. Most people give a good tip, um, but yeah, when making it, a lot of some people uh, think of them as really cheap. A lot of people don't know the value of them. Yes. Um, and then there's other people that get into it and making it, and they don't track their cost at all, and because it's because it is hard to know how many balloons you use in an hour. So that's why I went to weight. I started met weighing them. So I didn't just know the weight per this. I also knew my weight per gram. And um, I kind of forget right now what my cost per gram was. It kind of, it kind of varied all the time. It depended on, I'd have to take my cost per, per gram and average it across a year, across all my orders, because I would order like six or $700 worth of balloons every year. Wow. And that's the wholesale prices too. And um, some balloons, like some, uh, there's certain big fancy round ones, any of the bigger, thicker balloons, they were more expensive. So uh, if you took your average across a whole year, you'd know a little better what your average cost per is. So it got down to where most parties, when I'd go to them, um, I would use about $10 worth of balloons on average. You know, one hour party, I'd go through about $10, 10, uh, $10 worth of balloons. It, not just a party, for most events, because that was about the speed I could work. In an hour, I could twist $10 worth of balloons. That's wow. Yeah, bottle caps, it says, I yeah. never knew balloons were that expensive. Exactly. You know? We take it yeah. for granted and think, oh, the guy there, he goes, why he put it together and it cost some five cents. But yeah, when yeah. you break it down, it is pricey. I mean, the, the, you know, 
Uh, yeah, I made a video on that too, where I ordered them from at bargainballoons.ca because um, they give you wholesale prices without having a business number uh -oh. and flat rate shipping across Canada. So it's still, and it's still the cheapest place I've found, but it, the prices have come up from the last few years. Okay. Is, okay. Is I okay, she just farted. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I think people are just in awe. They're so yep. cute and so awesome. Cornwall Network is in us as it's so awesome. Three Star Traveler, so cute. Uh, yeah. Uh, ATGH Travel says, well, guys, got to go. Thanks for your support, guys. Balloon Man, you are amazing. Your family, YouTube family, rock, that you guys rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we got to go. Yeah, and I gotta get stuff going here too. Here, go throw these away. But thank, thank you, you for having us on your channel. Oh, oh. Thank you so much. Yes. Guys. Uh, definitely, we're gonna have to have you on because I would love to talk about homeschooling and your cooking channel. So much questions, so many questions and requests from people here, from fellow parents, uh, homeschooling. Uh, so I'd like to know more how you do it. Okay, sounds awesome. And figure. And the last thing you want to do, stop that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So well, yeah, we'll be in contact with your channel. <laughs> Send us your link and your video. Okay, in the latest video, yeah, when it's up, if it ever gets up, I might have to re-encode it if I can. Um, do, what what editor do you guys use? Oh yeah, that's right. You already told me you guys use Premiere Pro. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried. I can't. I can't stand it. But um, <laughs> you never know. I studied back in two thousand. I took uh, multimedia integration. So that's what I cut my teeth on type of thing. I did the whole, like it was the whole Adobe suite. So just to this, yeah. day, I guess that's oh, where it's made. But it's not always practical for everybody either. That's what I've been preaching, you know, not everybody, and not that it's the most, there's even a lot of higher end programs. Yeah. Like uh, DaVinci Resolve, a lot of guys that I know use it, but I can't get the hang of it. It doesn't click with me. It's just, you got to find yeah. what works for you. Well, what right now, do? yeah, well, right now, Filmora is what works. Um, but just tonight, I'm having some issues with them. So, okay. um, you know, they upgrade, you know, because they post an upgrade, you do the upgrade, you lose abilities that you used to have and you can't do anymore. Yeah. yeah. And then now you, you upgrade and then now they want you to re-register and I don't know where my original receipt is with the code on it and all these kind of things. And so now they want to put a watermark on the video, whereas last night I could do it without a watermark and now all of a sudden there is. Are you so having, yes. And all I want to do right now is re-encode that video to make it a little smaller so I can actually get it uploaded because it does not want to upload a nine gig video. Wow. Oh, geez, that sucks. Yeah. We actually do, like, it's underneath of it, but we do here um, Tech Talk Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, if you guys are ever in, because we do, like, uh, everybody in the, the chat room and that, like, they post questions to us. We talk about working with different softwares, uh, shooting, editing, all those things, and people, like, help each other out in the in the chat. And it's always great to have yeah. people who have experience as well. So anytime you're in, you're always welcome to join. Okay, no, that sounds good. I, I don't know how much time I will. I, I understand right, so. completely. People are concerned that you're going to be all worn out for the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a, it's just a director's meeting for the association here. Oh, it's just because it's so they're so fun and so crazy fast and yeah. active they're like oh my god I feel bad for you that you still have to go but uh, thank yeah. you so much for making the time yeah. for us I uh, appreciate it so much oh, you're been, welcome it's been a real pleasure and you take care of yourself thanks for your time and uh, we'll be in touch again really soon okay okay sounds good thank have you. a great day guys yeah. thank Bye. you so much Bye. She said, thank you for having us. Oh. I did a boom so okay. You take care <laughs> now. Bye. Okay, bye. Have a great night, thank guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. That guy oh, is so that talented. that was so cute. That was so, so yeah. cute. So fun. And yeah. Oh my God, and, and we love to meet up the families as well behind the channels. It's so great. Yeah, our no, daughter was... she couldn't she couldn't contain herself when she got to know who is on tonight. <laughs> yeah, uh, somebody who makes balloons. Yeah. And, oh my God, you you could you you seen her excitement? She yeah. Was... <laughs> that was not staged. She, yeah, was... she almost jumped out of her That's skin. That's Audrey as Audrey can be. So uh, <laughs> so excited.
Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate so much for them uh, coming in. And I know uh, Josh has a, a, a very busy schedule. Yeah. Uh, so we are thankful he made time for us. Well, he was on the other night. He was supposed to be scheduled the other night, and we had to make a switch at the last yeah. minute. Because And the guys, he really does have a... Oh, uh, 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 Manon, Manon et Fish. Uh, salut, bonsoir. A toi aussi, merci pour venir ici ce soir. Poor guy, he comes in and leaves comments. I always miss him. I feel bad. Yeah, I, I did yeah. say hi to uh, to him, but unfortunately, I can't, uh, um, you know, answer in French too yeah. much. But I did say hi. Uh, Three star travelers, so fun. Love seeing we don't have the only high energy house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we all think that we're all yeah. the same until we see the next house and we're all that same. Well, I guess it's the main thing. I guess we can remember sometimes it's good to have our kids have the energy and. Um, and healthy so i guess uh yeah. three uh seven blessings hi thank you you just missed our guest the balloon man but i'm sure uh you're gonna uh enjoy it uh once the video uploads you could go back and see he made a couple cute animals and you would never think that <laughs> balloon animals could be made so detailed and so amazing yeah. uh, i yeah. i think yeah. i i went into my childhood for a few minutes and bottle caps yeah, your brought... comments are much appreciated <laughs> So Living coast to coast, we appreciate you jumping in. Although I, we know you're a twerp, so uh, <coughs> it's so appreciated. appreciated. Yes, thank you, thank so, you so much. much. We still have some time for our tech uh, talk Tuesday. Yeah, uh, I know you guys started to talk about the editing software as we did with Josh as well. Uh, Living coast to coast said that we're they're using Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate, and Bottle Caps is using Power Director. It's cheap, it's easy. Uh, this is YouTube, not Hollywood. <laughs> uh, true. Uh, as we talked about that before, it's uh, it depends on what you're doing and what you're doing it for, right? So uh, if it's something you enjoy doing and yeah. you're not too much into editing, there is no reason why you should be going deep into Premiere. Uh, use something that is more simple uh, interface and uh, you know, your purpose is not editing, then you don't need the editing program for it. There are lots of other uh, programs that can be done, even apps, you know. Uh, so it depends what you're doing, what kind of videos, and for who you're doing it. Uh, John CRV, looks like you guys had some fun. Yes, my God, we just finished uh, our uh, talk with Josh and his family from Terrace uh, Balloon Man. Uh, if you missed that, I'm uh, going to go back and watch that. It was really fun. Um, uh, that's why bottle caps never visit our channel because of the screaming kids <laughs> yes uh, bottle caps uh, but we appreciate you staying through yeah um, uh, you know we we always i know appreciate this is uh, tuesday tech talk as you said yeah. before uh but we just really were so excited uh for yeah. josh to come uh, that we made made it happen even today. So. Yeah, exactly. No, no, and I mean he has really, really put himself out there because he does have a very short amount of time available. So we truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I was, Plus, as you know, there is a time difference bottle cap, so yeah. uh, they are still at the work time there. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, nice and late getting here and bedtime for some, but on BC and that coast, it's uh, still almost daytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gave a tip last night to TriStar. Uh yeah, oh uh yeah, uh, where where is it? Thanks for the tip last night. Made the new banner for YouTube and love it. Exactly. Yes, uh, I was actually. I mean, I can show yeah, the tutorial open. if you want. If you don't have anything else uh, uh, planned, I uh, Three Star Travelers uh, yesterday was asking yep. about how to make banners for YouTube, and I was suggesting using Canva.com which I use often uh, for making posters, banners, uh, and things like that. Uh, Let's start oh. by showing what she uh, she put together. Oh uh, yeah, do you have it up? I have it here. Oh, perfect. Uh, just make sure I pick the right. Yeah, per love it, love it. There we go. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It I don't know it's not an endorsement at all, but it's such a great um, platform uh, to create very uh, easy free solutions uh for your social media for for anything and they already have like pre-made uh layouts so if you're not into designing things uh just uh you know type in your name and yeah. <laughs> and download it and it's great and they have whole different uh uh also uh pictures available for free 
uh, some like most of them you have to pay for, but you can do just with the free ones as well. And if there is not enough, you can always download it on the side from uh, uh, Pixabay, for example, and upload it onto Canva and use it like that. So you have more library of pictures. It looks so. really sharp. I'm really Love impressed. It. Yeah. No. The, Good job. Your channel looks so professional right now. Uh, really a big boost. Right away, you're up 100% on that. Really great job. Yeah, Trister, uh, there's so much you can do there. I'll be using a lot. Um, yes. Uh, and also, I can say, if you have a smartphone, download the app, because app has a different options. Um, I use both uh, app and uh, a website. Um, app is more geared to social sharing, so you right away have the layouts for Instagram, Twitter, and all that for all the sizes are right there. So you can create it there and share it right from there. And it's it just a little bit different um, uh, things that they can uh, they offer on the website and on the app. Love it. So they, uh, it, it, uh, she says it changed the channel completely, big time. No, no, it, it looks really, really sharp. I, I'm glad. I'm glad uh, you listened. Okay. To it. Here's <laughs> something. Here's of... something from the Adobe Help Docs. I had a document ready, and now, I, of course, I can't find it. I know not all of you work with what I use, uh, Premiere Pro, but uh, Adobe does now because it's subscription based. They do these updates every so often. I just want to show you quickly. Open this up. This is so cool now. It's something I've been waiting for for a long time. When you take video in different spots and you shoot like uh, one at the park and then the next one was on the other side and the sun was different and then the next one was like by the a barn that's in the back part, you know, you can see that when you look at the clips after, they don't really match up. Some are brighter, some are darker, some have a little more yellow in them, vice versa. This is one of the greatest things that all editors have been waiting for for literally years. I'm not going to play the video in here, uh, but literally you can have your three, we'll say three or four clips. You'll pick the clip of the color one that you like the best or edit the one first to where you would like to have it. Then you can select that clip and there's going to be a way up in here after the other ones are selected that you're going to literally just click a button and it's going to color match all the other clips to look very similar to each other. You still might have to tweak them lightly. But like this is literally for a, a, a 10 minute video with maybe 40 clips into it. This saves literally days of work. I'm saying literally way too much. I just caught myself. Okay. But it's thus amazing. Like this is revolutionary. And I'm hoping it's going to trickle down to the other programs after. But Adobe is really finally starting to listen to vloggers. Even though I do cinema style, this was made for vloggers who need to get videos out quickly. And this will save tons of time. Because then once your colors, your your videos are all matching and equal then you can put a f an effect on top of them and then you pick the cinematic color what you, you want to use to output it that's really cool it's uh there's a close-up of it right here yep so that's gonna save that's one of the most revolutionary thing i th things i've seen in years i think and the other one is auto ducking auto ducking is like you know when you do your music underneath but you come in and out of people talking like you'll tell, you'll interview a truck driver and he'll be talking and then you go to the truck going and then back to him and there's music underneath of it. You select the music track, you click audio ducking and it's automatically going to go through and find all the other audio files that are just voice and where they are. It's going to take your music and literally dip it in and dip it out when the voice begins and ends. So for documentary stuff, uh, once again, vlogging interviews, this thing saves what used to take sometimes as much as hours to do. You can literally do it in a one click. So that, there's some really, really big, probably in, it's been a couple of years since they've done anything this drastic, I find, in, in proper changes. So Yeah, that's going to be exciting for yeah. sure. Uh, it's a big change uh, has come, and I think finally they have listened to people using it. Uh, it's definitely going to transform editing and save time. I mean, time is money. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm more ed editing on the spot and things like that. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be amazing for sure. Um, Attorney to Healthier Me is saying that I need to try to learn the better editing software so I can have more edits to choose from. But they seem so confusing to learn. I'm old, LOL. <laughs> well, that's what we're talking about, uh, choosing the software that is easy for you 
and the purpose that you need it for. Uh, if editing is not your thing and you don't want to learn it, then Premiere probably is not the program to use just because it, it's, um, it takes curve. time uh, for anybody to, to understand it and to learn it. But uh, there are tons of other, like uh, Filmora, mm -hmm. and even Windows Movie Maker, uh, a very uh, basic, easy, but very good software uh, to use for uh, crop, you know, cut and stitch, uh, if that's what you want to do with your videos. So it all a, depends what you want to do. There's a program I want to mention that I keep forgetting. I keep saying, you guys have probably heard me say DaVinci Resolve. And it's quite a high-end program. But one good thing about it is the free, they have a free version. The, the paid for one is a thousand bucks and um a lot of people say they're using it and they can pretty much do on the free version a lot of what you can do in premiere so if you want something you can try and just kick around with without spending money you can download davinci resolve and use that and people are making full movies with it and stuff like that it's it's a very powerful program they, they're the ones who make the uh, black magic cameras that uh shoot in 8k so they're 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 no pushover that's for sure uh yeah like journey to health and me is using filmora and sometimes coral video studio that's uh, nothing wrong yeah. with that exactly it, you you gotta find the main thing is, is to tell your story in the yeah, right way i movie for seven blessings uh ajo what is it you use again uh ajo is all for canada <laughs> <laughs> he's so amazing and Montreal. Um, <laughs> Uh, I movie for good cell life because it's <laughs> simple <laughs> and it's simple program. Well, it's it's as I said, it depends what you want to do with it. Like, you know, when I had uh, photography as a as a hobby <coughs> at the very beginning, and I never even thought of doing anything more of that, and I was just taking pictures like everybody else does, uh, you know, in the family things or just around. Well, I wasn't gonna stick them in in the lightroom i never even knew about lightroom yeah. but uh, you know yeah and then slowly i just was uh starting to use just the basic editing uh that was came with a basic photo viewer um you know if even but and then i started to do understand what this jpeg difference between raws and i still wasn't using lightroom I was using photoshop at that time and only later on i started using lightroom as my workflow increased and i was doing more and more you know i would have never be able to jump into lightroom right away when i was just doing pictures for my own fun and there would be no need for that either because it does take more time yeah uh so therefore it depends what you're doing and what you're doing it for yep 100 percent. not everybody needs the same tools that's why there's so much available uh, options out there here, I got the Vinci. Three Star Travelers use vi uh, Viva Video on Samsung. Yes, oh. and I wanted to mention that there are lots of apps on uh, available on Android and on iOS as well that you can use actually in your phone. And if your videos are not long and big, you can do all the editing in inside phone. And sometimes these apps uh, offer even better, like already uh, pre-made templates and layouts than uh, you would have in the regular like desktop version. So if that's what you can do with your videos, then do that. Here's a here's an example of DaVinci Resolve. And like I say, the, there is a free version of it. And basically, you can do it. It's just layers. You have the audio. And a lot of the, the, the free ones that you guys are mentioning also work in layered format as well. So you'd already be familiar with some of that. So the, the beginning is kind of the same, and then you just read up on it a bit. But if you're looking for something a bit more powerful and free, this is definitely a good option. And uh, there's some guys doing some really decent videos using it. Um, I forget what's exactly missing from the free and the paid version, but it's not much and probably wouldn't even affect you any. Usually the difference in any of the basic and premium versions uh, are between the uh, regular, so to say, user and, um, you know, the one who uses it for work. Yeah, exactly. So that difference wouldn't make a difference for a, a, a regular mm -hmm. user, you know? Yep. No, definitely. Just because the last time we were talking about that, and I, it's one of those names that I never think of. So that's why I wanted to get that out there tonight, because if I don't, I'll probably be another month. Or I'll do as I usually do, think of it at 2 o'clock in the morning laying in bed. Mm -hmm. Age of one forty-five p.m. Uh, day well, they are discussing the different time time differences uh, between uh, the coasts. 
and ball caps, although yes, we understand and uh, about your comment, you should appreciate that we did uh, devote uh, the stream to the other coast of Canada, as you were yeah. requesting for such a long exactly. time. Exactly. So, despite anything. <laughs> Andrew's looking very suave, Angel. I don't know what she, the word means. That, uh, like, like, you know, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's, well, well, it's uh, nice. It's to, a compliment. It's, it's a, a compliment. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the main thing. I don't know if it's a compliment or you being a smart well, guy. <laughs> ah, Catmaster Catfishing. Hi. Um, and welcome. Um, I hope it's a compliment. JJ, you're still here. Hi. Uh, okay, did anybody know about the new Phantom 5 drone? No. I, I heard it was coming out. Um... Um, not really a whole pile. Uh, I'm of sorry. I'm sorry. You got to stop this. Joey says you look like Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, 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 I had I had to stop everything. Tom Cruise's uh, grandfather. I had to stop everything. My God, from uh, Metallica yesterday. What yeah. was that guy yesterday? They James wrote. Hatfield. James Hatfield. Yeah. Everybody was comparing Andrew to James. Which Hatfield Which was yesterday. funny because that's the picture I used. Uh, <laughs> Uh, to uh, to Tom Cruise now. Um, yeah, I I, I don't know. The transition is quite uh, extreme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Um, yeah, it's not out yet. That's right. <laughs> There's been word and stuff like that, but got to wait for people to get their hands onto it and really give proper reviews because most times things are way off. Uh, the live. Uh, where did I? Oh. Sorry. I'm sure it's going to be very good, though. Yeah. Uh, the journey, um, somebody was saying that they enjoyed uh, Hooked on your train videos right now. Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I just lost that comment, uh, but I just wanted to tell you. And, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, uh... Journey to Health for me. I love your videos. I have been hooked to the train videos. Sit and watch them with my jaw dropped. Your video work is so awesome. Well, well thank you very much. I'm honored. I, I it's uh, something my son and I love together, so so um, to do together. So I really do appreciate that. It's probably one of the funnest parts of my uh, shooting is that there's that picture of uh, yeah. You could uh, just draw quickly uh, yeah. some a pair of glasses, and it would look yeah. like you. <laughs> I don't know if we can show him now. It's yeah, got a weird copyright or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just gonna say, yeah, it's from Planet Rock. I meant to put the. I clicked the wrong button, so yeah. there, just so we don't have any. There we go. Yeah. There, so we're... <laughs> Ted Bundy movie revealed? He's going to be in it? Okay. Well, I guess it's going to be a news review. <laughs> there, you there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to our new version of TMZ. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Andrew's better looking. looking. Hey, Joe, you're getting right to my head tonight. <laughs> Yeah, he is. This is a, a bit yeah. more of that beard. I'm still waiting. A couple more days. I think God. next week this time is going to be just right. <laughs> uh, JJ, the trains are awesome, oh. but it's a stellar audio that really makes you feel like you're right there by the train. Well, maybe you can tell a bit more about that. How do you achieve that? Because it's very hard to do both. <laughs> you are so funny sometimes now it's very hard to be taken serious sometimes when you ask a serious question and all you get to return is a laugh it's like you, you know how i feel right it's you like understand you, you understand my struggles the balance of comedy and drama <laughs> You come another person sometimes. It's so funny. Now we're going to try to get back to the person beside me, who's Andrew. And he's the one making the videos with awesome sound and video. So let's try to get back to him. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to get back to this question later <laughs> on since. Uh, I think uh, Andrew is getting into adult swim portion of Push Studio stream. <laughs> and uh, if anybody has questions about tech and tips, I would like to answer them today. <laughs> and 
just oh, naturally saying that they made the pack with myself to release a video every week and have done oh. that now for nearly six months. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, congratulations. It's it's a clue and a very good tip and uh, packed <laughs> to do with yourself uh, because oh. YouTube likes regular videos. That's what they love. So you are doing awesome. You must see also the uh, the way your algorithm works now is it should you should have more views and response because you are posting on a regular basis. It should show up on your analytics as well. Um, oh god, you guys are gonna be syndicated. Oh, uh, Ziri mm. Harris Mobile <laughs> Gaming and more is in. Uh, did I miss the railroad preserver? I think was in too. Um, and bottle caps are talking about the drone with interchangeable lenses from 35 to 50 millimeters. That's that's interesting. The body of the drone is painted green like the, like the Mavic. And what would be the price range? Do you know? Just wondering if it's worth it. The Phantom, because they've been putting so much into the Maverick and that the Phantom is going to be something very, very special. It has to be. It's, otherwise, there would yeah. be no point of uh, getting it. This so. is going to be like high-end cinema style. They're almost going to bring a, a lot from the Inspire into it. Um, My first love... My first love are my travel vids. They have got a little better over time. Do you have any suggestions on composition of travel vid vlogs? Keep them fresh. Uh, take pointers from the big guys, but definitely make it your own. Travel vlogs are amazing, and they're also one of the most done videos. Anything you can think of to give it a different swing, do it. Think out of the box. Like I say, you can't unless you feel really brave and you want to take huge chances. Go with something completely never done, but look what the big guys are doing and try to borrow their high points and then really find something that makes you stand out. Um, cinematography is big, but it's hard. That's a hard market. They're great. The problem is there's so many great ones. It's uh, you're gonna you're gonna find your voice into it. Definitely listen to your gut in that one. I, I don't know what I would say in one that's... sentence don't try to be anyone, be you. Yeah. And that's gonna be the best because if you try to be like anyone, most likely it's it's not gonna happen because there is something already. Just be you. Talk about what you enjoy. Yep. Be you as you are in your regular life. And that's what uh, uh people like most, you know. So I, I, I would I would suggest doing that. It because it is, and it's the most popular brand right now of vlog, and it's also got the most blatant copyright going on right now. And that is something that was mentioned a lot in I'm a Creator, I gotta say, was always brought up about you know, the big guys are the big guys, and we gotta find our own voice to get noticed. And I do believe in that message. I, I believe that is quite important. Is to um just find your own voice. I know it sounds cliche, and I'm trying to find a way to so it doesn't and gives you more guidance, but you need really crisp, keep your images great, because people are really watching those ones. They're watching them probably almost more, uh, more than any other genre. And keep them exciting. Keep them very natural. Don't overdo it. That's the, one of the worst things I find going on with vlogs today. It's like, oh, my God, and here we are. And look, we have a turtle, and they're making the kids hold it and putting on this act. And I think that turns away more people than anything. You're you, Already you're taking people away. When they turn on to a travel vlog, they're all ready to go on a trip with you. Just try to see the trip the way you want to see it. If, if you just always think, if I was the one sitting there watching this YouTube video, what do I want to see? Don't overdo it with... Uh, Tons of editing either. Uh, people love doing that today. That's every two minutes. And you want to be original? Try to get away from the, the Casey Neistat type of music and stuff like that. That's really getting so overdone. What's the music that you like? Yes. Some music. Look for, around. See if you can find anything on YouTube that's non-copyright from a local uh, band in the area where you uh, a musician from where you were traveling. Message them. A lot of them will most likely even let you use their music if it's not copyrighted or anything like that then you're even ahead of the game 
Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you say, I know mine are trash compared to the big boys, but I want to keep people interested. I haven't tried to copy anyone, but I feel they can be better. Yeah. Uh, if you're talking about the quality of it, well, uh, you know, you can always improve the quality of the picture, meaning the video itself and the quality of the sound. Uh, and that's what you can work on. I was talking about the style. Just keep it uh, you. Yeah. JJ got a good point. You know, try to forget the camera is there and be natural. When I'm driving, I just drive and interact with the passengers, and it's like the camera. Yeah, like it's never even on. Last night playing guitar, I I played drums for two reasons. One is we couldn't get a drummer, and number two is because I had severe, severe stage fright, and drums was my perfect thing because I put cymbals around me, and I didn't know anybody was there. And last night, that's what I had to do, is just forget the camera was there to even be able to pick it up on the camera. Uh People do that a lot, and, and she's very right that, like, right in the camera, you know, they're holding it up, and, oh, we're having a good time, and look at this, and, like, they get it already. They know they're watching a YouTube video. They don't need to be reminded of that. You need to take them away from that and make them feel like they're standing beside you watching it. Uh, another tip that we've said before, don't hold the camera here. Hold the camera here. Hold the camera there. Hold it down by your feet. Lay on the ground. Bend over a rock. Whatever it takes to get a shot that if there was 95 other people there using the camera, they wouldn't think of doing. That's we yeah. preach that one, I think, more than anything almost. And also to reduce the editing time, because I see there are people that are like, I to edit six hours of travel footage. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, um, I found a very great tip, but it applies both to photo and video. Uh, when you uh, check through your footage uh, of what to keep and what to throw out, check what you keep not what you want to throw out yeah because it's always harder to say well okay i'm not gonna need this you know it's always harder to throw out stuff yeah so uh, just check the ones that you love you know i love this one i love this one i love this one and then the rest delete yeah and it saves time it's faster it's better it's more efficient you're not double guessing yeah uh so do that so if you have your six hours just put the check mark where you like it you know like your marks from from beginning to end where you like it and then all in between delete them and then start editing like the actual edit only with those that you chose as your favorite ones so try that sorry i was just um Part of the learning process of not too much footage, but enough, but with every video we're learning. Yes, exactly. Uh, so yeah, try that. I, I think I for me, it works definitely for photos uh, and, and it does work for video as well. Uh, from where I, I've even forgot where I got this tip from, but it works so well. One of the professional uh, photo videographers was talking about it, how they improve their workflow. And that's exactly it. That, the choosing process oftentimes is the longest one, but that's the way to uh, reduce it. Sorry, I got caught up in this. No, I can't. <laughs> I just, I'll be at two seconds with you. I'm, I'm listening. I'm uh, everyone I'm... should read how to shoot video that doesn't suck. Who, uh, uh, that's uh, a Joe posted that, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. And I love that because he really, and he's right. And it's good to get something like that that inspires you, not just to tell you where you should go and point your camera, but just to, to get you to think as a videographer. So anything like that, if it gets to you, the, keep it like a Bible. And you will go back time and time and time again, referencing what the tips that you get in stuff like that. So uh, JJ had a good suggestion about uh, if you're not sure about what you have or you're halfway done, uh, upload your video, uh, mark it private, and then uh, send a link to a person that you want to have yep. advice from uh, or you just want to check out with the community you know come check out what do you think what i can improve or you know if you need help with something mark it private and send the link so only those people that are invited to see it are going to be able to see it and yep uh, so that's also the way to get practical help that's part it. of collaboration here you can meet people here that you respect you like what they do there's nothing wrong with asking them, hey, uh, is it possible I can send you this and we can take a look at it? it? Collaborations don't just happen on the screen. They can happen behind it as well. And um, we got a lot of great resources here, people using other... Uh,
uh, different uh, and say, hey, I hear seen in the chat you were using this or that. Don't be shy to message them and ask them about it. We this is a great resource all you guys have here together and the other channels that you frequent. Um, we're all kind of in this together, so definitely. Uh, no, it's not unlisted. It's private. Uh, unlisted is uh, you can anybody oh, can sorry. still see it if they go directly to your channel and. They just uh, there. Yeah, Private yeah. Uh, can't be seen by anybody unless they have a direct link that yeah. you share with them. So if you don't want anybody to see it at all, Here. Uh, upload it, mark it private, and uh, then uh, oh, then share it. Uh, and you're welcome to share it with us if you want any yeah. input. But uh, you know, just the community. <laughs> Whoever you feel like doing it with, don't don't be shy. Ask them. The worst they're gonna say is no. Like you know that old expression. And most people here are really quite uh, quite supportive. I mean, in the end, it's it's uh, especially in this channel here with you guys and that. That's what I really love. I see people helping each other all the time, giving each other advice, and that's the only way to truly grow. Uh, I like I you guys have heard before. I've worked like you know in my old business. I work with some pretty big musicians, and I mean their life. You learn quickly how much their life is just one big collaboration. They spend their whole career learning from everybody else around them how to get better and if they're doing that and making lots of money doing it there must be something to it are you showing the private we have another question coming. yep i'm just i had to open it up I, uh, i'll do the manic monday one i had to get one we're just going to show the pri private yeah. part and uh uh sure we can go. yes thank you jj that was a really good yep. suggestion so here, uh, you guys know that I put up a preview every day. And uh, then once the live stream comes off, I, it disappears. <laughs> These ones I mark as unlisted. If you have the, the direct link, uh, you'd be able to see them again, but most people don't keep that. And here's where you switch it. So if we put it to public, it's going to be viewed again. Put it unlisted. Or we put it on private. Private only, you can send it to the link that uh, people uh, that you uh, you send them a direct link to. They're the only ones that are going to be have access to it. So um, that's really great way if you want to share stuff and not have everybody see it. Yeah, and then after, if 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 the video is good the way it is, you can just mark it uh, public again, and, and yeah, and then you don't have to re-upload it uh, again. Uh, Seven Blessings had a question. Uh, let me get back to it. Uh, we have a video that was recorded and uploaded. But the first part is fuzzy. I think it's because it was morning time. I hate to redo it. What can I do to fix it? That's a really tough call. It depends. Fuzzy is hard to fix. And that's one of the, if it's a little bit, you could try running it. Uh, I forget which software you're in again, but some of them sometimes have a bit of a cleaner. She uses phone most of the time for editing. Phone, I, uh, see, that it depends on the app you use, what comes with it, but that's a really, really hard thing to bring back. A lot of times it's just unsalvageable. Turn it black and white. Yeah, you can give it a mood like that, add a little scratch on top of it, and people don't know the difference. I think that's one very good way to do it, and that's right. I've used that before in film. Uh, just make it more dramatic that way. So you can take a, 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 an accident, we'll call it for lack of a better term, whatever the reason it got that way, and make it into something really artistic. Yeah. You know, uh, If you can't salvage it as a real-time footage, like as you intended it to be, cut it out. Yeah. Uh, or turn it into art. <laughs> yeah. But if you can't, cut it out. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, Oh, a quick uh, congratulations to Patsy Hula. Yes, congratulations. 700. We got over 700 finally. Yep. So uh, happy for you. Well deserved. Oh, for sure. Yep. Uh, and Patsy, obviously, there are going to be some people that uh, just come and sub and uh, yep. they don't do anything else. But I think the people in our community, especially, we watch each other's videos. Yep. Uh, and we appreciate the content as well. And it's not numbers only. And remember, guys, sometimes you might go to a channel that you've been supporting. It happens to me. Sometimes I'll go see them, and I know without a doubt. And when I go to their channel, I find out that I'm not subscribed anymore. So it works both ways. So if that happens to somebody to you and they say they resubbed or they haven't been around a bit, don't freak out on them. It's not that they took you off because they don't like you. Every channel gets audited. And as we've always said, I truly believe that the AI, the artificial intelligence, because I got asked at the last time what it meant, 
that YouTube has come up with for the algorithm it grows ahead of what the engineers can keep up with. And no, it won't take over the world, but it just kind of sneaks around a bit and learns new features, and then the engineers have to keep up. So it's going to go up and down. I'm, like we said, in one night we've had 16, one night gone, one night we've had 21 gone. It's just the nature of the beast. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. uh, sorry. Hi, Spectrum Mommy, Amelie. Welcome. Oh, welcome. <laughs> and and yes, uh, and uh, Joey's right. Uh, you know, and we are talking about that among ourselves too. It doesn't matter if it sums down or up. They still yep. give you a view. They yep. still give you watch time. Yep. So thank you. you. You can just thank them for that. Yep. And move on. We've had two two thumbs down. I think only twice or three times in all the live yeah, streams we've done. So we're assuming it's the same people each time. And hey, they gave us a little bit of watch time. So well, thank exactly. And actually, it helped because we've always had good moves. So it now makes us look a little more natural. So <laughs> the exactly. AI will be more pleased with us. Uh, Xenia mentioned something a while ago, and I met the talk about, uh, I forget who it was. Maybe it was some blessing. Somebody was saying about putting up videos once a week that we're trying to. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's uh, uh, Journey to Healthy or Me, correct me oh, if I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, had a pact with themselves that they were doing it once a week. Sorry, it's oh, too perfect. far away. No, so no, I that's okay. It. Whoever it was, that was a great point. The YouTube algorithm loves schedules. And I don't know if you guys know how to do, you can schedule your video to upload, even if it's ready. You could pick like every Wednesday at 8 o'clock, I want to do a video. So where I showed you a while ago about listed, uh, published, or private, There'll be another option for scheduled and you can actually click scheduled set a date and a time that you want your video to go live and then it's ready to go and if say like once again we we'll pick wednesday eight o'clock well if you upload on a sunday night it won't go until that wednesday night eight o'clock it will hit and once you learn your algorithm and you're looking at it and you see when's your best times to release your videos you can do that, and it really will work in your favor because YouTube really likes consistency. They're really trying to push series now. So a lot of YouTubers now, you'll notice they always have their same times they uh, upload their videos. So if you want to, that's another good thing. If you're planning to do one, you can set that time and say, okay, uh, I want to do it at this time, and that's a great way to keep you going for your goal to do a video a week. Again, uh, not for promotional purposes, and we're not paid in any any way and any how. Uh, uh, I use, and I'm such a fan of Morning Fame uh, app and website, and I'm going to just uh, uh, post an invite to it because it's only by invite. Uh, go and check it out. It actually shows you what kind of videos are uh, going better, like in a very nice graphic way. Uh, so you can choose what kind of content is better to create. And it shows you also the day and the time for your best uh, uh, viewing, uh, you know, for, for the time when to put it up. So <clears throat> it just the way it, it shows is very easy to understand. Um, and it's more working towards your future posts and not as much to the past ones. Uh, so I'm just going to go and uh, post... Uh, Hmm? Oh, okay, okay, so they can see it. Uh, no, I'm just going to go and po uh, give them the invite so they can go and make their own. Oh, profile right, right, okay, okay. Because you can only access it by invite. Oh, where are we here? Sorry, guys, I lost you for a second. Trying to refresh, it does it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Good advice, Camaro. Welcome, always, by the way. I know some of you guys have been here for a bit and then I just missed you, so I want to make sure I acknowledge you. Uh, Oh, here's offer. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, use this link to. Jeez. Sorry, bottom uh, caps again. <laughs> use this link to uh, go uh, to Morning Fame. And again, we're not affiliated, not getting money for it or anything. It's just the only way to go get into You need to have an invitation. And check it out, uh, again, for your future posts and for analytics. It's a great tool. Yes? Uh, bottle caps being bottle caps again. <laughs> Spectrum mummy. You know, bottle caps soon, Xenia is going to not let me look at the screen anymore because you always get... He's unbelievable. Spectrum Mommy, uh, Amy Lee. I get haters too on my channel. I just blow them off. They aren't worth the sweat of my brow. Exactly. Do your own thing. 
people will go through and they'll find you and they'll like what you're doing and you'll build your own audience. Well, Journey to Healthier Me has uh, some kind of cyber bully. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, that's awful to hear. Yeah. And uh, Patsy was saying as soon as um, uh, the video is uploaded, it sounds down. But as I said, they, yeah. they were uh, focused enough and got you yep. watch time, even if it's a couple of seconds of them scrolling up and getting that thumbs down, they still had it playing. Exactly. Uh, so don't fret about that. There's always going to be somebody who doesn't like something. It's impossible to be liked by everybody. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they still are giving you watch time and views. So that all it counts at that point. And, um, and Brenda from AOK Forging and Adventures, I was on their... Uh, their first live stream the other night with AOK Forging Adventures. It was so much fun. Oh my God, they were having a ball. I, I really enjoyed it because then they thanked us because the night before, you guys were such good supporters. You guys drove them away up. So, yeah. <clears throat> How cool is that? I would like to say that I love YouTube and watch a lot of great content, but really appreciate this wonderful, honest, and comfortable place right here. Mm. Well, thank you, Joey. I'm trying to be as transparent <laughs> and as honest as possible. We are, believe me, people couldn't fake what we do on here. <laughs> no. Yes, and thank you, Joey, for support. Yeah. You're always drumming us up, so it's uh, much appreciated. You guys are all really great. I mean, it, we appreciate each and every one of you. It means so much when I see your name pop up, when you make comments, helping each other. And, and supporting channels, each other's channels, plus like bringing good feedback to the channel for everybody. And that you really are top notch. Uh, I, I'm always wondering, I'm worried I'm going to say it wrong. Who's your back OD? Uh, haters and thumbs down are still watchers. They are helping you even though they, they are dogging you. Exactly. 100%. It's not worth worrying about them. They're giving you a hand and just thank them for that and move on to the ones that are giving you the great comments and that's what counts. And, uh, oh yeah, Brendan, we enjoyed having you. Well, definitely. And I definitely want to get back to you guys again as well. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Double D Gaming, I, I agree to ignore hate, but Camaro Time taking that. Oh, okay. Okay, you guys are... Yeah. I think what he means is that yeah. oftentimes it's not a constructive criticism. It's just being hateful or just doing it just because. And and lots of people take it to heart that yeah. being as an insult to their content, especially if there's a lot of personal content. Yes. Which, which they shouldn't. The thumbs down doesn't mean that somebody doesn't like you as a person or you're yeah. a bad person. Somebody just being... Uh, stupid funny or not caring always yeah. remember the ones that do that nine chances out of ten i would say 9.8 chances out of ten if you were to meet them in real life they'd be terrified to even look you in the eye yeah youtube is great and it's a very big divide because the ones who like really like and the ones who don't like are usually just pathetic cowards and that's not because i hate them because they gave me a thumbs down i can live with that not hurting my feelings it's that they do it based on they wouldn't have the guts to do it in real life. It's more just them burning out their frustrations of their day on you. Yeah, and jealousy you know. too, as, yeah. as Spectrum Mommy Emily says, uh, jealousy as well. So, like, you got to put it into context. I look at it sometimes, and I've seen some videos, and you have a little girl who's singing six years old, and it's got like you know seventy-one dislikes and ten thousand likes. Oh yeah. Like, did seventy-one people really have no life to sit there and go and click that thumbs down? that's so that's why i don't take what they say with much salt because if you're that pitiful why honestly why the hell would i ever worry about what you think no like you know? patsy says it doesn't bother me just yeah. put big curl pants on and keep going that's right yeah that's good and jj yeah. brings up another part too sorry hun uh, yeah. but other ride share youtubers give me thumbs down because they are jealous that i'm having so much fun hey, that's another thing too especially you guys are like in genres uh or uh, hobbyists i know there can be some real competition between all of them but you just i mean you have two choices you either let it get to you and it's eventually going to make you make worse comment which is going to get you more bad more thumbs down or you say to hell with it, and there's people here that actually do like what I'm doing and just brush it off. It's yeah. the same as in real life. Not yeah. just really everybody in your life around you, closer or further away from you, 
like and love what you're doing yeah. probably there is some that don't you know it's yeah. not because you are bad it's just because of their own reasons and the same here so just don't take it too to heart and do what you love to do and then you're going to feel good about it even if they think you're bad it doesn't matter because you're concentrating on the people who think you're good right it, you like look at a singer look at all the big singers look at when we joked last night about nickelback like that was such a great example of they get more hate than anybody per capita. I'm not saying I don't want to get in the battle whether they deserve it or not. The thing that um, g comes to, to, to mind is, guess what? They're still making music and they're still making money. So they have a lot of very outright vocal haters and not like you get with a thumbs down. They get people going on television, on YouTube, in a newspaper saying, I hate your guts. I think you suck. And some things 10 times worse than that. And they're still writing music. So you got to be true to it. you got to believe in what you're doing. And I, it, these are all cliches. Of course they are. And we all hate hearing them sometimes. But it's just they're cliches because people said them enough because it's the truth. You've got to love what you're doing and people will see that. Don't focus on them. Make, make it drive you to make better content that you believe into. And nobody can take that away from you. And what thumbs down is binary code like everything else you'll ever have in a computer basically they just p pushed another set of zeros and ones it means nothing yeah and, yeah. and uh, like i have a comment here especially about the personal co uh, content uh like three star trailers i welcome people telling me something uh that would look better uh but <clears throat> when i get sorry i just lost you when i get uh thumbs down on my uh <laughs> son's birthday that just rude just jealous of attention he was getting and i know it it it's still when you see those thumbs down when it's your personal content like something like your son's birthday you still feel that uh uh uneasiness you know that yucky feeling of of seeing those because it is your son's birthday that you wanted to show right uh but again the same as in the real life we just uh we just gotta think about that why you know why are they doing it and just don't give them too much energy uh more than that um spectrum mommy emily says uh she gets the haters that says that uh i use my son in order to try to get views they're a bunch of uh chuckle heads because my channel is primarily for him exactly and that's another thing who are you building your channel for and what are you doing your videos for do what you like to do uh, and who cares who says what uh, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like something for different reasons and yes two seconds camera time uh they they normally only watch two seconds yes but it's still two seconds and then it's one more view uh so even if two seconds and one more view it's still one more view and as susie channel says they must turn on notifications for uh, to get the thumbs down, yes, but that's one more notification button uh, pushed. So we can't fret about every thumbs down. Uh, you know, look at the bigger channels who have millions of followers. They always get thousands of thumbs down and thousands of thumbs up. I mean, when it starts to be a pattern of mostly being thumbs down uh, on, you know, a couple of videos, then, okay, maybe there is something that people don't like, but... Uh, if the majority is thumbs up, or if it's only like one video where majority is down, uh, well, you know what? Who cares? <laughs> You're doing what you love. Um, I often wondered how some singers made it, but then realizes they were making money doing what they love, and I wasn't. <laughs> Was here back. Well, yeah, if you do, of course, it still affects us. We are all humans. As I said, when we see that thumbs down, especially when it's, uh, you know, uh, private, so to say, private, what's shared is not private anymore, but more like uh, close to hard content, it's it's still unpleasant. Uh, but we're all humans, you know, just don't pay as much attention. Don't give them the satisfaction of it. Um, Thumbs down is a good, not bad, but it's people watching, everyone has an opinion. That's right. Uh, and your videos doesn't have to be perfect, JJ says. People appreciate that. You're just genuine. Pull at people's emotions to draw them in. Are you funny? Are you sincere? Display you. That's right. And that's what we were starting this uh, 
a segment about uh, uh, exactly be you don't try to be anybody don't try to put anything you're not going to be able to maintain it too long just be you you like saying songs sing songs you like making stupid jokes and do that it's just going to be funny <laughs> some of us are puppets I don't know where you're reading that. Patsy. Patsy Lula. <laughs> yeah, because Patsy was getting hate the other night. Yeah, no. I know. I, I know. And, and it is, again and again, yeah. we are all humans and puppets <laughs> with yeah. hearts. Yeah. Uh, still. I can have the thermos, please. I've been waiting for I don't know. <laughs> I was trying Why? to get with people's hearts here, heart to heart, oh, how disheartening uh, it is uh, I, to uh, have a patient. I, and no, Patsy, those. I apologize because I had to go out for a minute, and I came back and I seen the, uh, some of us are puppets, and I'm used to your jokes. Oh, I think she's putting me on the spot. I think she's playing with me. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, um, Yeah, Central uh, yeah. Mummy, uh, the primary purpose of you starting the channel uh, there are so many families that need support and suggestions, and I figured this would be the best way to get stuff out there. Exactly. And most likely, they are not the ones that are putting thumbs down. Yeah. So keep creating for your audience, uh, you know. Um, you guys see your numbers. You see how many you get each time. You, you know where you stand. You know, by now, you've got a feeling for your channel. you got a feeling for your audience. No, most of us are going to say in here that, you know, we wish we had bigger audiences and that's understandable, but you already have a core. You know, the ones that usually come back every time you put up a video, you see it progress, you see the likes. So you already have that confidence behind you that you have that. And, and that's, it can only go up from there. And the couple that are doing it, they mean nothing because that on the other hand means so much more. Imagine the idea that every time you create something, a group of people are eagerly awaiting to see that pop up on that red icon on the top, click and go and see what you've done. Like that's gonna be one of the greatest feelings probably anybody could ever have. So you know, I, I would think myself. Oh well, yeah, I, you know. exactly. And and yeah, like Rosario and Buck was saying, he had some troll in the chat the other day, just try to uh, make him uncomfortable by making him a part of a group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Could just try to to use uh, you know fun with that, and yep. uh, that often helps. And they just uh, get out usually. Um, thank you very much for those that got to leave and go to bed. Uh, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good night. <laughs> Uh, three star is almost hitting um uh, 500. That's unbelievable. Uh, that's amazing. If you haven't still uh checked our channel, go and check it. Three star travelers, uh, go and check the channel. Support I've, if you haven't yet. I think we when uh, when we met up, I was on another person's channel, and if I remember right, I got the number 73 in my head, but I could be wrong 73 75 somewhere around there when I uh subbed to your channel. And that was like what a week and a half, two weeks ago, I think. Was well, right around the time that we were already in the live streams. Oh yes, yeah. So, so it wasn't too long ago. Yeah. That's amazing. Touring Tay yes, says hi and welcome. Uh, we know you guys are very busy. Uh, mm -hmm. and we are very excited following you. Uh, and hopefully see you soon in uh, one of our live streams in talks about that, people. Oh. Uh, mm, hello, James. <laughs> Hey James, how are you? The king is here. <laughs> there you go. Be good. There, Patsy, you were asking. Uh, Xenia made that for me. Oh, she was asking. Yeah. What's the note on the wall? Oh yeah, I made. I just tore it. I didn't realize how it was tucked in. I there. make these notes yeah. or things like that. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> she I'm romantic, yeah, she is. I gotta <laughs> say, yeah, yeah, she is. She's a hopeless romantic. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's just one of yeah. one of many. Uh, <laughs> when I uh, when we were in Saskatchewan and I was driving truck, I was gone a lot, like 14, 16 hour days. And I come home when I go to lunch in the morning, she always put a lunch inside my mailbox in my my lunch box. She'd always <laughs> good God. She'd always put one inside like my wallet. I'd find one in pockets. And then I found out later on that she would make supper every day. She'd put my God, I can't believe she would do this. It's so cute. She put my picture up as she cooked. So, yeah, she's 
yeah, well i, I always was told that you're gonna cook with love in your uh, uh, mind your soul and your hands because that's when the food comes more tasty yeah. so yeah. that's why well and since the food was meant for you that's why i was cooking for you you were away for hours and i, I said, can't even believe i just brought that up <laughs> i, I don't know why wait, yeah. when did that happen we were talking yeah. about you yeah. Uh, she, yeah, she, I put yes, lunch James, a, lunchbox, a mailbox. No, no I often don't do that with yeah. kids too. I, I draw faces and, and leave embarrassing notes to our sixth grader of like, oh, I love you. Good luck with your exam and things like that. Erda Morbid. So glad. Erda Morbid was your walk. Oh, yes. Okay, thought... You're going to tell a story about uh, uh, the radio. Oh, my God. You guys are going to love it then. <laughs> I'm out in Saskatchewan. I hadn't driven truck in 11 years. I worked. That's when I worked for the music company and stuff like that. We just decided to move to Saskatchewan, work was very good in the oil fields, and it was also great for emigrating into Canada because each province has their own amount of people that can immigrate each year. And Quebec is very hard because you, the priority goes to any French-speaking people. So even though she had this psychi psychologist degree spoke three languages, young, it didn't matter because no French, it probably would have taken about three years. Where Saskatchewan was literally in the end came to about 10 months. So anyways, I'm out there and I'm driving and I'm getting used to the place, learning all these things. It's it's a real, I mean, it's a man, man's world in the oil patch. That's one thing about it. It's just the way they are. And I was training with a guy who come and check on me now and then make sure I was doing everything good. And, um, uh, he come over and he said, uh, the boss, Lana, wants you on the radio. And I'm like, oh, God, what do I do? Am I getting fired? Did I ruin something? <laughs> are they being sued because of me? So I'm standing there in the middle of all these guys working on a well that's being repaired. And I called Lana on the phone first. She said, no, no, go on the radio. And this was just before Xenia because she had to go back over to get everything finalized before she came to Canada for the permanent. Her and, and Chris went back with her. Well, Chris was there with her as well. And she said, no, you got to go on the CB because uh, I got something I got to tell you. And I'm like, okay. Well, I ended up, Xenia did some digging, found out the business I worked for, got in touch with the uh, owners, who uh, uh, this lady, Lana, and explained to her, you know, about how hard it is being away and stuff. And she knew how hard it was on me being out there by my own for the first month and a half without them. <laughs> so she got the... Um, asked Lana to go on the radio and send a message to me from Latvia that... Uh, Somebody that loves me very much was thinking about me and would be there very soon and just to tell me to hang in there. And, uh, yeah. Go well, ahead. Little did I know that it's going to be announced to everybody. Yeah. We, uh, Every us. trucker. Every trucker in the whole fleet. <laughs> Literally that day, there was probably 80 trucks running for Brady's alone. <laughs> and... I, I love her with all my heart, but I was literally like, you know, just starting to fit in with the guys and stuff. And I had my head on the steering wheel and I was like, she said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Half shot. And uh, yeah. And then so for the next week, every truck I ran into usually was giving me kissy faces and stuff like that. <laughs> but it was very sweet. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's somebody said yeah. that's true love. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. No, she's a. Definitely a hopeless romantic in every sense of the word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Benjamin is in the in, and he's saying the Corn Life Network is two supporters away from okay. 500. Can somebody go and give it some love? I would have pressed that button like 200 times if I could. Guys, we had Rick on last night from the Corn Life Network, and I want to say this. Since the beginning we were in I Am Creator, you will never meet a more honest supporter in your life. And if anybody deserves to crack the 500 right now, I know a lot of you are familiar with them already, the Corn Life Network. But if you're not, please, please go and support these. Support Rick. He is the most honest, genuine person I think I've, well, one of them, I should say, I've met on this uh, on this platform. And he really, really deserves it. He would have been a lot higher had he not been helping so many other people get ahead. He's watched, like, Oh my us. God! Yeah, he he was ahead of us when we were started. Exactly, you know? and and uh, he sometimes, you know, instead of doing his own video, he goes and supports other people's mm -hmm. video or or goes in their live stream like yesterday on ours, uh, yeah. or, or goes, you know, when I'm creator live streams. He's such a, a active community member yeah. and so positive, so genuine, just amazing human being and. 
uh, he deserves much more than 500 yes. uh, because he's been such a great and genuine supporter uh, to every one of us. So Tori please, Case got him. Excellent. We need just one more supporter yep. to get uh, him over. I just posted the link. So if you haven't supported yep. the Corn Life Network. And leave him a message because he'd be the first one back the next day watching your videos. I guarantee that right. to you. That's just the way he is. So. Yeah. The other night, they were, yeah. uh, and we had we happened to have our live stream started at the same time. I didn't know they had it, but when I went back to watch their video afterwards, half the time they were talking that how are they going to finish this quickly and go over to our mm, stream? Yeah. Like how how sweet is that? You know that's amazing. Excellent. Yay! It's Good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Susie, thank you. Got yeah. it for hundred. You guys are amazing. And if you still if you haven't subbed to him yet, go sub him. He is. Yes, he is uh, just an unbelievable guy. Like I can't speak highly enough of him. And that he's so genuine. Like like we have him on the live streams, and he's so uh, he's such he, he support corn life exactly. Eh, Joe? Oh, he's just he's just such yeah. a warm hearted kind. And Brooke as well. They, oh yeah, the two I'm of so them. I'm looking forward to seeing their wedding. Uh, oh yeah, I think it's going to be such an amazing event. Yeah. Uh, Oh, and you talk about romantics, those two there. I can just in the, in the their videos and stuff like that. And the, he has a great morning show too, though, by the way, guys. He does a stream and you know he talks about supporting everybody. He's part of the I'm Creator movement. He's always uh, uh looking to help the next person out. So definitely if you're in the mornings, if you're on and you want a good live stream, definitely check him out. Yeah, and he good on he's good the, the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is really good, man. He's got rhythm, that finger rhythm he does and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah I, as I was laughing about the secret box because I was mm. so uh, intrigued by what is it that I, I'm still intrigued how you can play a melody. You know, when I worked uh, for Pearl, I was telling Xenia we had the hand percussion side. And no, it's not as glamorous as everybody thinks because it's the most primitive instruments there are, but they're still very hard to play. And you know those boxes, like with Pearl, if I remember right, I was trying to remember for Xenia, not the box like his. He's got the snare song. It was like 300 and some bucks. or uh, Like they're not cheap. Those are really they're really true musician uh, quality uh, uh, items. So, uh, you were alien yeah. six four six seven. Are you hiding? I see Tristar saying hi. I believe, but I don't see you. Yeah, it's right there. Two up. Oh. Alien. Oh, okay. Why am I not seeing? It? Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, okay. There. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Because I'm old and blind. Hi, five minutes is up. I'm out of here. Goodbye, one and all. Sh uh, share the love, the, the, this natural journey. So great to have you here, right? Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we've had so many Canadians on this week. I'm starting to do the A after everything. I catch myself. <laughs> it's cool, though. And another great channel, that this natural journey, by the way, to really enjoy it. I, th I believe I found them through you, Touring Taste Buds, actually, if I'm not mistaken. I'll do that. I find a channel, and Touring Taste Buds is a great one. Uh, I, and I've done this with other oh. channels. I'll go on, find a video of theirs that I'm just watching, and I'll, you know what, I'll go down their list and look and see who their supporters are, and I'll look at some of them. Because usually if you have a great channel, guess what? They have great supporters. So some of them I've added. I gone and messaged them, said I've seen you your posts on such and such. We'll say Touring Taste Buds channel, really love what you're doing. Uh, and then I'll give them a brief message about what we do. And I have a, a paste message for that one. We're a Montreal, uh, a, a Montreal film and video, blah, uh, film and photography, what we do, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of them come over, and then they I've seen some of them do that. And then I send them, if they want, uh, over to the I'm a Creator Movement. And they start growing. Uh, TriStar was a great example of that, actually, because I did find TriStar on somebody's channel, but I can't remember who. And look how much they've grown in a short amount of time. Pull your resources. Everybody's a, a TriStar. Two of our best supporters. Yeah, yeah. And TriStar was it? Was it possibly on touring taste buds that I found you? If you can answer, that, I greatly appreciate it because because you're one of the newest ones I remember. Uh, same with the gentleman you see here sometimes, Eric the Red RC. That's what I did with his because I really love his channel. And I went through and found some uh, 
some uh, their supporters, and they've been here since. They, uh, Tony Jace was, they better follow you back. <laughs> they don't let me know. You know what? I've had some of the best followers in that way has actually come from like the hiking, uh, survival, because a lot of my regular videos have that rural scene to them and stuff like that. And they real James, wow. Good job. Congratulations. Hey, fo that's really good. Wow, you're climbing, man. Excellent job. Does anyone know why some comments show up on your bell, but others you have to look at your videos to find it? Always look at your videos yeah. to find them. And better, even better, you uh, use uh, TubeBuddy <laughs> uh, that will let you filter uh, the comments under comment section in your creator part of the channel. So you'll see all the comments right there because the bell is not reliable. It doesn't show you all the videos that come up. It doesn't show you all the subscriptions. Neither it shows you all the comments. So if you want to see all of them, go to the comment section and better off uh, use uh, TubeBuddy. Have a great night, Camaro Time. Thank you so much for coming, and thank you for such unbelievable support. I uh, really love having you here. It's always a pleasure. James asks, "What's about what about the Latvian dish?" Yes. Oh, uh, I, I'm lost. So I, I want to hear sorry, this too. <laughs> I forgot about it. James is asking, uh, since I love cooking, what is my favorite Latvian uh, dish to cook? Do you want to get a picture or something? Or? Uh, no, I, I don't know where is it. My God, uh, but uh, I think the most favorite dish for my family. Uh, to cook uh, from Latvian is chicken fried pork with whipped potatoes, especially whipped potatoes are, I think, the favorite to go to for, for all of the, my family here because it's it's so uh, airy, fluffy, light and buttery and complete opposite of mashed potatoes that it's just always like our older son always requests yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, and, and like daughter, like everybody loves it. My God. If but, I ever um, want my 20 year old son to visit, I got to tell him that Xenia's making those. And yeah, that's the uh, whipped potatoes. I'm just uh, showing general. And uh, yeah, and Andrew likes uh, the, uh, the chicken fried pork, yeah. uh, which is basically tenderized pork uh, chop and has boneless, salt. Yeah, uh, yeah boneless. Uh, you tenderize it uh, with, uh, and then salt, pepper uh garlic and then dip it in egg and uh flour and fried from both sides it's really good and very nice because it's uh, that tenderized it, it makes it really great uh, uh at the time when we are going to talk more about latvia uh, and we will uh as we promised already yesterday that we are going to be coming up with that uh, I'm going to talk uh, a bit more about food as well, so I'm definitely going to mention it. <laughs> Can you say potatoes for uh, the, the Susie channel? She said she loves how you say them. Potatoes. <laughs> oh, you have a... Oh, well, I have a potato peeling ASMR on my channel, Susie. Oh. <laughs> Try doing whipped potatoes with turnips or cauliflower added. It's awesome. Yes, I have tried doing uh, some with carrots just for to add color. It doesn't really change the taste of it, but it adds that orangey color. I love tur uh, mashed turnips and cauliflower. I have done that. Uh, my mother-in-law makes amazing turnip souffle, uh, which for people who doesn't like turnips might not sound as, <laughs> as something great, but it is amazing. It doesn't even taste like turnips. It's so good. Uh, so I have tried that. My family is not too much into um, mashing other vegetables in it. They like vegetables separately, but not into potatoes. But I do agree, though, personally, that it, it's awesome. Uh, vegan salad. It's good, too. Yes, if you like vegan food, for sure. Uh, I like meat, so, unfortunately. <laughs> uh uh, hit that like button for wonderful hosts. Thank you so much. Yes, please come back, uh, like, and comment on the video. Or well, if you missed that, uh, we had our guest, uh, Josh from uh, Terrace Balloon Man. Uh, he made a couple amazing balloon animals. Yeah, that was so You cool. have never imagined that balloon animal could look so cute and detailed. So you got to go back after this video is uploaded and yeah. check it out because it's so cute, so amazing. It's going to light up yeah. your day. So No, no, it was uh, it's such an art form to watch him do it. I uh, I don't know, it just blows me away. 
I, I was like a kid in a candy store watching them. I, I never realized how mesmerizing it is just to see somebody do that. Yeah. They just take long balloons and, and create a, the ladybug. Like my daughter's eyes oh are just dancing. Oh my gosh, dancing. Was, uh, oh, yeah. on the moon. And he got some tips also how to make because yeah. I managed to get some tips on how to make it. <laughs> So you gotta go and watch it. Uh, you guys still talking about the food yeah. here? Somebody's having all bottle caps having pizza with sakai almo ah uh, salmon on it. Uh, James like turnips done in the oven. My uh, sister loves those. Yeah, making me hungry sounds delicious. <laughs> oh, our morbid. We inspired he, them to do live stream. Oh wow! It says I did my second one this evening. It was short. The audio was a bit messy. Anyways, I mentioned your channel as well. As oh. the Corn Life Network. Mwah! Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. That's amazing. This is what it's all about. It's inspiring mm. each other to be positive and, mm. and good and support each other. It's if you guys can find us on Twitter, or, um, it's in the description of most of the videos. Please uh, drop us a line. Always looking for uh, new channels to have on here uh, to interview. We'd love to have you guys. So. Uh, yeah, for sure. And definitely if you have a question, if you have a request yeah. for for something or maybe there is a person that you would like to see on uh, as our guest uh, we always uh, are looking for uh you know suggestions and questions uh, i don't know what am i posting here try stars um, off to bed thank you so much for coming thank you for being an awesome supporter and from day one like we were talking while ago since the day we found each other you've been absolutely like you've grown your channel so much you've worked the network you work with us and uh I can't thank, I just can't thank you enough. It's always so nice to have you here. Uh, Touring Taste Buds, you rock. Uh, uh, you rock, Troll. Good night. I'm, I, I'm, see, this is why I should, oh, I'll try. I'm so, okay, now I get it. Mickey Wilson, hello, guys. Sorry, it was late. I'll have to watch later. I had some catching up to do. Yes, you definitely have to watch yeah. later. Uh, we had our first part of the live stream with our guest, Josh from Balloon Terrace Man, making balloons and having great tips and not only that so you gotta watch that after the video is uploaded for sure touring taste buds is taking off uh, we're gonna have you very yes soon. yes uh, i'll get back mm -hmm. to your twitter message after we are done um hopefully we can figure something out because i've been such a fan of your channel I, I guess you guys are sick of me raving about it but now that i finally have you here i can say it right away always loved your channel right from the get-go so i'm really really looking forward to it you guys really do great stuff yeah, and Touring Taste Bus has amazing support on, on Twitter. They just hit uh, 10,000 marks. That's yeah. unbelievable. Eh? Yeah. That's so amazing. That's, that's really good. Uh, thank you for following on Twitter. Yeah. If you want to send a message, we have to be following each other. Uh, and like that, if you wonder sometimes you go on somebody's profile and you can't send them a message, it's because either you are not following them or they are not following you. It has to be both ways in order to send a message. Otherwise, you just have to send a tweet and say oh i'm following you i want to send a message right so uh um if you want to send a message make sure that we follow you too or just if, if i forget to press the button just say hi i'm here <laughs> and, and i'm gonna hit that button so you can message us okay uh such a would... great channel see ajo too they would be great guests i yes, agree uh, so thank you for one and they are so busy i know they have some opening this week yeah, uh, we're gonna see what we can do about it. And guys, as I know, I always say, anybody. Oh, sorry, I'll turn this back for a second. Anybody who wants to be on, like, please just get in touch with us. The best way is Twitter, and like again, you said, follow, and we'll follow you. And uh, if you don't have that, then Facebook Messenger is good too. Please try to avoid the DM in YouTube because it's horrible. It's non-reliable, and. and yeah, myself I, and most other people always forget to check it. It oftentimes just passes through and can't even see it. Yeah, uh, and we need it in case if you are on as a guest to be able to send you the link to be able to come on the live stream. So yeah, it only takes a few minutes to here. set up. It helps your channel. Like Xenia is a big advocate for Twitter now. Like she's really been, <laughs> she's a, uh, she's been pushing it a lot. She does most of the legwork on that one. God love her. Yeah, so. I, I usually also try to tag you in if I'm posting something about you. Like Mickey Wilson, for example. I couldn't find your Twitter yesterday, although I posted wow. your quote from yesterday's chat when you're talking about how great it is to see people supporting each other. So if you have Twitter, connect with us so I can tag you in. Uh, hey, Push, I want to thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. You guys are great. I'm glad we found each other. Us too. That's just so amazing. Touring taste buds. Can't wait to be a guest and figure it out. 
definitely uh definitely connect with push they're great channel great people <laughs> back right back at you joey seriously we are still going to be up so <laughs> just seriously we are going to be... i was honored to talk with you <laughs> <laughs> so if you're still up <laughs> give, give it the ring we're pretty sure we're going to still be up yeah we always are you're, you're a class act my friend so yeah and us canadians stick together right my friend i oh i don't yeah i gotta get some canada mug we're gonna do that tomorrow yeah yeah we're gonna go we're gonna, gonna do that we're gonna go all out and get some dollar store they're not out yet they'll be out soon i think uh yeah yes that's right mm -hmm. i think we got inspired by uh the um the happiest uh, canadian it was the channel the guest it was the other day mm -hmm. on, uh, um with his family and yep. he had amazing red hat and like everything was he's um, right into it right into it so i think we gotta go up to par and get some mugs too i will i mine is red by the way yeah. red and white so between red and white we that's, kinda that's latvian more it looks more latvian because of the, the embroidery well like i don't that. know has, a bit more burgundy-ish but, but style it, so. uh, james you guys are <laughs> really doing a great job thank you so much i really do appreciate it like I say, we're still kind of winging it by the seat of our pants, but you know. Yeah, this is our 18th live. Um, I can't believe that. Yeah, except for two Sundays. <laughs> we we even did this Sunday because uh, of our guest that had a sleepover on Saturday. We <laughs> I love that. Our live stream uh, with him for Sunday. That was so funny. And they were so nice. Actually, before anybody goes, uh, just in case, because I know some are heading to bed soon. I want to see if this will work. I want to share one thing with you. So just bear with me for a second. I'm oh, you guys like gonna this. love it! Yeah. This is the the night that we are the, the night we got married, and like I say, Iceland is the the land of the living uh, of the night's uh, sun. Oh my God, that was as disjointed as it could be. Uh, <laughs> this was if you look outside of the window here. This was actually taken at one o'clock in the morning. And um, I had this last minute idea because we got married on Canada Day to um, go to the dollar store, buy as much Canada stuff as I could buy. We got to this bar. It's called the Laundromat in Reykjavik. And there's literally a la laundromat downstairs. And I gave out all the shirts, all the flags. And unbeknownst to me at the time, but the guys sitting here at this table uh, behind us, they're one of Iceland's biggest bands. And we actually did a quick video of uh, Happy Canada Day from Iceland. Yeah, so <laughs> that was so much fun. That was like, I always wanted to do one of those kind of video bomb type of things at the time when they were big. And that was her. Yeah, it was so crazy. And there was even some Icelandic band there that we yeah. didn't know before that, <laughs> yeah. uh, that were touring. So they were part of it. Like all of the uh, laundromat is the name of the cafe yeah. in Iceland and Reykjavik. And they all jumped in it and just like 12 different countries was so amazing exactly exactly uh chibi channel oh you're trying to build for yourself well that's very nice uh we're not really like a sub for sub or anything but, but just get check you out. yeah get everybody in get the no people in here get to go to the i'm a creator movement hashtag i'm a creator it's a great place to build yeah, yeah. as james was mentioning friday yeah. uh go and check at 3 p.m the marathon yes uh just uh look for the hashtag i'm a creator thon in youtube and you're gonna see what it's all about uh yeah. we're gonna go and check you out i am checking you out right now yeah. there's some trains and cars and uh trains we love trains we have a lot of train videos in our uh yep. channel if you would like to check that out for your son here i'll share you for a second uh, yeah if your son enjoys trains uh he's gonna Let's enjoy see. our train videos so uh definitely we'll be checking yep. out and uh and watching the difference between seven seven and us uh, our community is that we uh also watch and actively get involved in each other's channels 
we yep. come back and comment and get into each other's live streams and it is truly a community just uh, make sure to like to help out everybody else if you as, as if you like their channel try to sub them as well not as a sub for sub but just a respect thing oh he found out trains oh that's uh, oh. so awesome yes thank well, you so much here's something i haven't done before i'm actually gonna move because i can't watch it right now well here i'll let a few seconds play here always take off the volume guys Let's watch a couple of seconds. But usually, if you watch a video, always make sure you have the volume on some. Because otherwise, it, uh, a lot of times, YouTube won't count as a watch. Now, we can't watch all of it right now, unfortunately, because we're on. I'll go back after, so I'm going to keep your page up. But at the first time I've ever done this, I'm going to subscribe here. So because you got trains, I'm going to take you on good faith. So there you go. Now you're at 30. Thank you so much for coming yep. in, by the way. Yep. That's, that's really cool. And hope you can keep dropping by. There's lots of people. We're on pretty much every night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh, there's Tom and Jerry. And oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh I'm definitely going to be yeah. watching this more. So <laughs> after, after this. After yeah. This. <laughs> um, I put in a train in my last video for you. Yeah, I know. I know. Thanks, Ajo. <laughs> you got a good heart. Yeah, Ajo yeah. is a... Uh, how did you say it on Twitter? He's a man. You posted that. Andrew doesn't use Twitter as much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But when he does, and yeah. he is short and on point. Yep. Yeah. But I do. I mean, you guys all in here, I respect what you are doing. And thank you. Thank you for those who uh, just uh, supported us on Twitter. Thank you so yep. much. And yes, uh, Susie just reminded me that we have a pinned post uh, on Twitter. Uh, the, the, if we are not uh, connected both ways, you can just leave a comment there. Uh, the pin, pinned um, poster that invites you guys to be a guest on our uh, live stream. So if we're not connected, uh, just leave a comment there and I'll get back to you. Very good. See how attentive the people are here? You guys are so amazing. It just, I was telling my friend the other day, and I, I was telling him about you guys, and like he says, like the way I talk about you guys is almost like as passionate as family. Yes. <laughs> you know, because I, yeah, it's, um, that's how much I appreciate all of you. you. You're amazing supporters, and it does mean a lot. Always nice to have all of you here. And exactly, Chibi Channel, you'll get to, get to know these channels well, take time. I don't know if you know, you can click on anybody that's here. Just go over to the right side in the chat. You'll see the three dots. Click on it. And then click go to channel. Go and watch one of their videos. Leave a comment. Like it. And uh, they're going to be back to help you out. They're, they're really, really good that way. There's actually a tiny lull here. And I'm assuming that's because most people are gone to check your channel out. There, see <laughs> bottle caps. Good stuff, bottle caps. Yeah. Bottle caps got an edge too, but he's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's. A... <laughs> we speak very fondly of bottle caps. Hey, Joe. <laughs> yeah, they're fellow Canadians. Yeah. It always feels like it's exactly. a little bit more personal, although I don't know about That's... that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, hey, Joe. And That's I really appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we're covering a different time time slots and different yeah, audiences. That's so nice. We're that's, not overlapping. Great, we're not all barking uh, each other's it. heels. And uh we kind of cover a lot, you know, like starting with Rick and the Corn Life Network at eight at or nine in the morning. Are you guys able to uh, be able to chat on Thursday sometimes? So. Well DM us uh yeah. James. Uh, uh we have uh, this week is is really like filled up with everything but yeah. uh, uh just uh send us a message and try and see what we can do okay? yeah definitely because otherwise i'll forget yeah uh, I, I know it's, it's not, just better i i we're forgetting you <laughs> we're so forgetful i forgot to mail my income tax today like that's what is <laughs> this is the yeah. stuff that i'm starting to forget and uh this may be four times this month that i mixed up the days for the appointments for uh, for my medical stuff okay i come in and the secretary looks at me weirdly and says, it's a wrong date, lady. Nobody's here. Come another day. So it's not, not all, personal. It's just Not, not all of you know this, but Xenia suffers from fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. So to her to be able to even do this show has been nothing short of amazing. And because she's between treatments, they had to stop the, the larger pain 
medication that she was on before she can go into the new one. So she's been, what, two months without? Yeah. So um, please give her a big hats off for doing what she does because it takes every ounce energy. And in the meantime, we got a job plus two th kids, 7-Eleven. So. Well, three, but yeah, one three. doesn't yeah, need well, a, yeah. a day-to-day attendance. <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so please, no, yeah. yeah, it's not nothing personal. Just uh, yeah. So we can remember. That's the best way. So. I just cut my finger. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh. This is another usual conversation <laughs> we have a lot. You it, you know it's bad when hmm. you're at the time five year old, and now the other one is chiming in too. Says, "Mommy, be careful with those scissors. Don't cut your fingers." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's when you know it's really bad. So, uh, nah, I don't know. What did I do now? Yeah, James. Uh, yeah, DM. Yeah, we can talk for a little bit on, on vo uh, like, voice, like you said, videos. Just to, just to have a reminder in there so we don't forget. Not a problem. Um, yeah. We'll have to uh, head out soon, too. Uh, yeah. Guys, um, it's been such a pleasure tonight. You'd never know. She's yeah. always smiling and laughing. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It like it's really a normal scenario. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you can see on, a, I talk about it a little bit more on uh, my uh, uh, pajama party uh, live stream with Lady Borgia, when we talked about invisible illnesses. Uh, she talks about her my daughter's right, Isabeth, and I talk about my uh, FM and uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, I bet uh, how we deal with that and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Started laughing and everything, and then got deep serious about that. But uh, it's it's interesting. And as we were talking about it, uh, there were lots of people popping up in the in the stream, like in the chat, that I didn't even suspect that had similar problems, or they have their a close family member having it. So, uh, you know, it's it's good to have support, and especially because it's invisible illnesses, uh, it's oftentimes you can't tell just by saying, because you just said, you know, laughing and smiling. Uh, that's, that's my way of coping with it. But uh, it's good. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be grumpy because of it. So I always try to be uh, one that sees the silver lining to things and be more optimistic about things. So. James just sent you a link about. Uh... Uh, fibromyalgia. I'm a, some, a doctor. I, I didn't have a chance to look at it yet. I just I'll wanted to grab the out. link. I'm actually trying, starting, and possibly starting a new trial soon. So I will have to check with them uh, for any major changes uh, because it's a trial. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. But it is definitely something I will save uh, and and look through for sure because always looking for something out. <laughs> um, hey, Joe. Everybody loves you. Yes, Benjamin. Uh, mm -hmm. So again, for those of you who are new, when you go and support somebody's channel, always leave a comment and hopefully uh, more than just uh, a number, uh, something more extensive than that and let them know that you support it because oftentimes YouTube doesn't let know people who supported them. So uh, the owner of the channel is not going to know. So if you want to get the back and forth flowing, just... Uh, uh, leave a comment, uh, a nice comment about the video, and uh, you'll get the most likely support back. So, and if you don't, you made the effort. You're getting to meet lots of good people, and you know, there's always going to be somebody you'll feel that kind of ripped you off a bit, or whatever the case. Some people take it harder than others, but in the end, it's the same as a thumbs down. You don't let it bother you. There's tons of great supporters out there. Use all your resources, like. Uh, you know, we've always said about I'm creator movement, look on there, hook up with as many people as possible. Uh, also, again, supporters I've found from I'm creator and other places, I go through their lists, see who's supporting them. And some of them do really well because they'll also then they'll go to I, uh, I'm a creator, then they'll be in the chat here and find you guys. And, you know, it's a whole circle one way or another. Everybody seems to get support. So that's a great thing. Uh, yeah, talking about support, look, I, I we just uh, mentioned my <laughs> invisible diseases and right away, like Spectrum Mommy Emily, uh, she has it as well. She also has rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, oh, thank you. You're very sweet. Art and morbid. Uh, Alien6467 just had a week of dizziness and fatigue. I hope you feel better now. 
it's not fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, when you mention these words, and oftentimes people don't talk about it because I think, and I can relate to that, they partly feel guilty about having it, although it's not our fault, but we still feel like that. But when it's actually voiced, uh, as I said in the last stream and now as well, there's always somebody uh, that is popping up and saying, you know, me too, I, I have this problem, I can relate. And uh, it's great to know that. It's great that you can voice that. And, and yeah. uh, it's also great th to, to feel that support from you guys, for example, right now, or, and, and as we had with Lady Borgia as well. And uh, yeah, maybe I will talk about it some more in one of our live streams or something, because I know that people people need that support and I need it too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll uh, we'll think about it and maybe do some more about it. Just just talking. You got some more comments. Uh, Joey about your scarf. Um. Joey, love your scarf. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I love everything yeah. red. <laughs> and like, scarves. This is not, yeah. yeah, well, scarves. I'm a scarf lady. <laughs> not not shoes, not bags, scarves. And uh, yeah, this is not red, but reddish kind of that. So burgundy. Are burgundy, yeah. So especially with that something, that color. This like, is more Latvian color, I think, now. Yeah, kind of. I never really thought about it. But thank you. Yeah, I have like, I don't know how many scarves. So it's, it's just my thing. Thank you um used to be earrings too but now it's just these so uh <laughs> now just lots of scarves so james says the thing about leaving a comment is like leaving a really nice visiting card that every creator gets to see so even if the creator does not come and support others will yes exactly 100 percent. it doesn't hurt anytime look what, do the stuff that you do in real life you put your best foot forward when you meet people in real life you hand them business cards if it's not business, you just meet talking. You always start off politely and try to do something that they'll remember you by. Same thing on YouTube. It's all the same rules, just different ways. Uh, speak yeah. Your mommy. Uh, yeah, that's right. I, I agree. So uh, it it is hard to talk because people think you're nuts. <laughs> that's true. And by the way, you're saying you're going to be turning, uh, tuning into our next live stream. We are here every day from 8 to 10 p.m uh except for sundays and even then sometimes we're on yeah uh so tune in tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna have a very interesting and yeah. different stream once again yeah we're trying to give you uh interesting content every time uh yeah if you like to be creative um if you like uh be colorful uh yeah. if you like um relaxation um but energy at the same time uh, this is a stream for you. You yeah. got to tune in tomorrow. Amazing guest. Uh, hope we have. I found him because he's not. He's not as he's got a decent following, but not like yeah. you know, not tens of millions, nothing. And I ended up in his live stream, and I think him and I hung out for like three hours. Oh my yeah, god! I kept yes. driving her crazy because I'm like, you got to see this. You got to see this. You got to see this. Yeah. We're trying to do other things. You know, uh, he's, he's it's, it's you're really gonna like it. I guarantee you. It's it's. Uh, we like Xenia said. It's a good point. We've been really trying to keep like uh, not putting the same type of channel each night. Trying to really mix it up. Mm -hmm. Plus, working with people's schedules. And I mean, people are doing this for free, so you know they've been very gracious with their time and stuff yeah, no, like that. Yeah, hopefully they get amazing support yes. from you guys too. I mean, that's a great exposure. Uh, sorry, I just laughed because yeah. Benjamin said scarves over fragrances, and he he <laughs> yeah. reviews uh, men yes. uh, men's. Uh, fragrances for those of you who doesn't know well i i used to like one particular uh perfume which was wonder belt it's it's uh, the shape of uh, a swan and then they stopped making it so if you know where it is let me know <laughs> and then i'm going to start preferring that because that was my favorite of all time I love and Benjamin. then they just stopped it it's his channel is so i love his suaveness yeah i feel like a better person when i'm done watching one of his videos yeah i know i think more men should watch it to begin with <laughs> very 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 helpful with the ladies yes joey you are <laughs> yeah. coming and you're sitting on this couch hopefully very soon i love that yeah uh we are having island aesthetics uh, on the way back uh from their tour through canada they're stopping in montreal I think 19th to 21st of May. So yep. we're going to be getting together with them. If you can make that, then I know you were planning for summer. But if you can make then for a day or two, that would be awesome too. Um, <laughs> bottle cap. 
and yes, James, I will check it out. You know how it is. I have heard so many things that would help and suggestions, and I'm not against it. I just, uh, I always keep an open mind and I check it out uh, and then see if it works. But as I said, I'm, I might be part of a trial, so I can't really try anything new too much yet. But it is, I am actually more, I think, in the fasting idea than you are right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not I'm against driving. it. I just no, no. can't do it. If yeah, I'm no, I should have it. said it that way. That's not what I meant. I meant that it's like, like a, you know. Challenge accepted. Yeah, please let yeah, me know. Because yeah. I was so shocked. I was using it for years. Like it has become my fragrance, you know, like part of me. Yeah. And then they just stopped it. So I was quite in a big shock. So I don't think I have used anything with a quite as same success as that one. I don't, don't really like anything too much uh, except that. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. It's been such a pleasure tonight. So who is it, Patsy? Patsy, you're going to come in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, look out for our Twitter announcement earlier yeah. in the day, well, usually in the afternoon. And then if not, uh, tune in at 8 p.m. and you're going to see it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and more interaction with you guys as we love it so much. Yeah, because uh, we did used to put them out a bit earlier. But like we say, sometimes, you know, schedules change and stuff like that. So I try not to be for early afternoon just in case there is a schedule conflict so yes exactly uh, you know. yes yeah, see you guys tomorrow spectrum mommy i, I would be glad uh, thank you for connecting on twitter mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be glad to see you tomorrow again mickey wilson james cox you and pusha i have grown a lot thank you guys oh you're so welcome yeah it's uh, nice to see you guys growing like that we it, it's all about working together so definitely we're all resources here so Pull as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor so. Fung uh, has a YouTube channel. Yeah, I still keep checking. I, yes, Patsy, I will be watching Lady gotta, Wars too. I always tune in. She's at seven. I always tune in at seven for hers, and then unfortunately, or fortunately, I can run two hours at eight. Yeah. But uh, where when she's done, just jump over to hours, and I'm sure we we're still <laughs> on, right? Uh, yeah. And we're gonna be on. So I know you're supporter of hers a lot and appreciate that yeah a lot. definitely so for sure i think she has her first guest tomorrow doesn't she so <laughs> i will be definitely there so see you tomorrow there too bottle cap z, 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 yours. as long as you're watching you can sleep <laughs> while watching you too custom cards thank you so much for coming you're you're such a great supporter uh, custom cards is one that i found from uh, eric the red rc if i'm not mistaken I kind of forget. Yeah, now. it's a good network of yeah. having. You know, I love it. The connection. And I do that. I'll go through other. a channel, and one day it was the barbecue ones, and I got some great guys from, uh, I forget which one I started with. It was one from the I'm a Creator. I went through his uh, support list, and then another time is going through Home Improvement, and another one. Yeah, and you know, like the touring genres. taste bud. They, yeah. were, they are not even yet part of our community, like the larger community, but uh, we got them through other channels. Yeah, exactly. And, and now uh, you, they have amazing support already, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they are amazing people, you know, so yeah. uh, expand as exactly. well. It's, it's great. It's great to connect with different channels. It's so. a real panther. Oh, God, we're just on our way out. Yes. Uh, Hi. Yes. Unfortunately, or fortunately, once again, yeah. you will have to jump back and see our video from the beginning. The, uh, our guest, uh, Josh from Terrace Balloon Man, he yep. made some nice balloons and tips for not popping them. So you're going to watch that, okay? Uh, yes, it is. It is, Joey. <laughs> it's going to be a far drive for that call. But uh, it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. yes, uh, yeah, yeah. it's real. Uh, Panther, leave some comment after too if you Such watch uh, some parts of our live stream from today. It's, it's yeah. quite fun. We had some tips and tricks as well. For and, and guys, you can go back in and watch it and go through, and you'll get in the, the chat. You can find who was watching and go and support them. It doesn't have to happen just while we're running live. I had to wait before <laughs> joining because last time I was trying to multi. <laughs> But your entertaining stories uh, kept me too occupied. Well, well. <laughs> but thank you for yeah. tuning in and please watch some of it uh, yeah. afterwards and leave a comment. Uh, how did you like it? How did you enjoy it? 
thank you. Balance, balance, balance. That's very correct. Um, I got to get her to bed, guys. I'm. A, she's a. She she's a trooper, but yeah, I know. I know. It's hard because I really we really enjoy spending time with you guys. This is the highlight of the day. Whatever problems happen in the day. And remember, it's fun in here, but we also have real lives too, and things aren't always perfect. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But it it this is a highlight just to spend time with you guys. You're supportive. You always make us feel glad that we put on this camera and and got here. And uh, you've helped our channel grow. You've brought people to us to watch. You've said kind things about us in comments and in the chat. And always know that we think the same of you guys just as much. It's truly, truly appreciated. You mean a lot to us. I want to see you guys all grow. I want to see you guys all have great things in life. You're good people and you really, truly deserve it. On that note, guys, have a really great night. And remember to keep creating. Come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yep. Bye. Have a great night, guys. Take care. <laughs> night.